Or, or in Hello, in everyone. Yeah. Hello. How y'all doing today? Hello. Hello. Great, Hi. Greetings and salutations. Uh, new logo art, by the way. Uh, from yeah, it looks Tom. great. Yeah, what? from Tom yeah. Bag. I like it. It's very Judge Dredd. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So big, uh, big shout out to Tom Bag uh, for the new logo art. Um, shout out to Lewis Humanoid for the Deadbeat for allowing uh, us to use his music for the Deadbeats theme, and of course Jordan Shin for the IOverse main theme. Very fun and very exciting. And. Some uh, new, that's not the only thing we get. That's not the only little treat we have today. Uh, as we go over to our new screen, uh, we have Discord reaction images now. Yeah. Yeah. Look at us. Yeah, wowing, so. Not I a fan. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, it's right there. The grumpy face. Mm -hmm. The grumpy face is perfect. That was it. Uh, uh, shout out to Bird for giving us the uh, working on the reaction art for this, uh, for Deadbeats, for everything that's there. So, very fun, very exciting. Pause music. Oh, yeah. You guys ready to get started? <clears throat> yep. With your second session? Very well. All right. What map should we start us with? I guess we can do a brief recap. Boop, 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 boop. I'm, gonna... I'm gonna lick someone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Get that out of your mouth. What are you doing? I'm going to play this. I'm going to play this. Oh, wait. No, that's right. That's right. That's not atmosphere. Uh, that one. There we go. Uh, I'll take you all to the zeros map. That sounds like the play. Checking audio levels. Yo, you got any uh, them links on Twitter or something I could retweet there? Oh, uh, I got some. I got a link somewhere around there. You got a? I don't gotta go see. I don't see none. No, that's. Uh, I don't know why you don't. Did I forget to include? No, you're there. All right, yeah, I shall give you a link. Hold on, no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go to your Twitter page. No, don't no, 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 here's, here's, here's the link, man. No, I don't even want, even want that I don't, link. I gave you the link. I don't I even want that link. link. No, man. I don't want that link. <laughs> I want to find the link on my own. Uh, the Goblins, you... phase three. Mm. Wait, what? What happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> no, Goblin phase three. Oh my God! It's it's. Oh my God! It's a crowd favorite. He's wow! Back. He's, He's back! back. Wow. Look at that, was guys! In, his lobby in Ishtar long ago, he was small <laughs> and strong, and his eyes are flaming glue. Wait, wait, hold on! Is there an Jesus? Wait. Jesus! <laughs> wait, what? that's amazing! What? What is that based off of? That's. Rasputin. That's yeah, oh. that's the Rasputin song. Oh, I didn't know that. I was like, that's amazing. I love it. Brett's not on TikTok, guys. We know this now. I, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is actually uh, <coughs> correct. Yes, I, I want no. you to know I have a whole cover of that song ready in my head for in I, case I ever just bust it out dancing. I want you to know that I, I would a, yeah. pay for the someone to animate a little dancing cheesel to like a like doing like the like kick the leg kicks. Oh my god. Oh, that would be that would be wonderful. I I'd like that too. Yeah. I've received a lot of questions. Will goblins be coming back and in, in see in in Ioverse Phase Three or thousand years later? I'm like, I'm afraid not. I'm afraid we're all not. dead. Let us die. Yeah, let, let us, us, let us be dead. dead. Let us be dead. <laughs> Victor is just outdoors. Please, dude, let us be dead. <laughs> I, you know what? I was actually gonna joke about that with you on, on stream, Joe. Like, actually, Victor is outdoors as a vampire. <laughs> <Grown> up outdoors. <laughs> Holy shit! This is outdoors when he lost his virginity. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! The oh, chat, no. Victor, is the virgin outdoors. Uh, I love it. I love it. I think. I think I love it. I think I absolutely love it. All right. So, uh, last session, our first session, uh, started off really strong, really powerful. Um, uh, turn this down. Well, let's right. ruin it, Cracks let's, Knuckles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, ru let's ruin it. I haven't met everyone yet. I'm going to ruin your lives. With a beach episode. No, just kidding. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I mean, the session one started 
with uh, a bunch of beat prots uh, out on the streets just living life along with uh, seasoned and grizzled detective uh, Logan Horn. Uh, you guys have been doing some some simple cases, keeping some keeping keeping crime off the streets. And uh, you uh, yeah, you've just been living a chill, relaxing life. Some of you guys with puppy dog eyes, you know who I'm talking about. Points, points, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, has been, yeah, has just been just living life, doing their thing. Until it all turned upside down when Lord Logan Horn hears that potential that a serial killer from 20 years ago by the name of Facade may have returned. As a body has been found in southern Ishtar in the city of Jotun that uh, resembles quite a bit of the, uh, the, 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 the typical MO of how fa uh, Facade would kill their victims. This, of course, made uh, Logan very heated, very angry, rushed over to the XDF headquarters to try and, you know, get it, get get the case going, get a get a get a group together to finally stop Facade once and for all. And that is where Logan met with his second unfortunate surprise that uh, the XDF was going to be throwing him a retirement party because Logan was being forced to retire in a month. This, of course, greatly upset Logan, uh, as with a potential serial killer or a copycat killer um, out uh, out on the um, out loose, essentially. Um, it just seemed like that was the wrong time for him to retire. So Logan, uh, ready to go out and about and do it his own his own way, uh, met up with his partner and also Sergeant or his former partner and Sergeant. Uh, Sergeant, uh, wait, 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 hold on one second. Ba, ba, ba. Sergeant Kagan. We'll make sure I said the name right. Sergeant Kagan. Did you Kagan. forget his name? I Dude. just, I have a lot of Wow, names. that's embarrassing. Yeah. If anyone would have done that. I can't, yeah. but none of us would forget his name. <laughs> none of us, yeah, none of us. Specifically <laughs> that guy. You know, I really, I really, I really do appreciate that. I took one, like, trip on the curb. You ever, like, just accidentally do, like, a trip on the curb? You didn't eat shit. You just tripped on the curb a little bit and you kept moving and then everyone points like wow you uh tripped on that curb huh that really fucking sucks don't know how to walk i, I don't want to i don't want to give away the goof but uh five minutes before you came and got us we were all trying to remember what that guy's name was <laughs> oh yeah see not. i was yeah. wasn't i was not part of that goof you were not part of the goof yeah it just, we it just, enjoyed we enjoyed the goof yeah, yeah it just you know, made it look like laugh time yeah it just made it look like all my uh players were just bullying me relentlessly yeah I forgot like all of us were just absolute pieces of shit right out the gate <laughs> I was like, and that part isn't yeah, yeah untrue yeah. <laughs> I was like, "Holy shit, that's a that's a that's a lot." Uh, yes, uh, Sergeant. I have to uh, get it out before I play Dash. I'm sorry. <laughs> you gotta just get all get the, the shit. Get the toxic out, Doctor. Get, get it out. Get the toxic all out, all out like before your good boy Dash. A I get that. I get that. I get that. Um, yeah, Sergeant Kagan Egoth, and um, <clears throat> of course Logan's pissed. Logan feels that he's been betrayed, um, but Sergeant Kagan has taken. Um, is feeling bad essentially because he is close with his partner uh with 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 logan and so the two of them devise a way to hopefully get a sort of uh secret investigation way to figure out exactly what's been going on what, what happened with this facade murder if it is a facade murder or a copycat kagan has also revealed uh to logan um that the new senator of zeros senator thalen uh Deberos, is his name? I don't know if I dropped a name before, but yes, sorry. His name is Senator Thalen uh, uh, Deboros. Uh, is also looking to cut 15% of the XDF force because it's peace time. It's time for peace. Why well, we don't we don't need to be paying so much for all these prots in the street when there's barely any crime to worry about. So we cut 15% there. Uh, we lower the retirement age, lower the pension, and we continue to make money so that we can invest in infrastructure. Um, yeah, you, so, uh, Logan discovers, uh, that 15% of, of the prots, including a bunch that are on probation, are on the chopping block, uh, which includes, uh, one young Dash Whiskers, as well what as- What did I do? I've at, barely been here, dude! <laughs> you, yeah, and along well, you with- you didn't do. It's, oh yeah, my god. Along <laughs> with, uh, Karis Creed. Who uh, has a has was I in, mean, in passing 
uh, <laughs> known as the Butcher. For... I probably deserve it. Let's be real. It's oh. fine. Oh, okay. Damn. <laughs> Karis. <laughs> Dash is like, you don't deserve it, man. You're a good cop. <laughs> yeah, you are a good cop. As you guys are in the you gym. You work hard. Flexing, you know? You're a good cop. No, you're a good cop. It's real, <laughs> real bro time. Um, uh, and yeah, uh, along with your crew uh, that you formed, you've head down to the vault where the worst of the worst criminals have been uh, sentenced uh, life in prison uh, since... Uh, Kathos has done away with death penalties and instead has done life imprisonment aboard a uh, a prison vault underneath the crust of uh, Kathos in sort of like outer space a little bit. Uh, and that is where we met with uh, Hellebore. The, uh, mm, I, I, it's really hard to explain <laughs> Hellebore. Hellebore's a lot, I think is the best way to describe it. Hellebore is, Hellebore's a lot. A I'm a go- mess. <laughs> There's a lot going on in Hellebore. Along with the toy maker, uh, Eli, who has been uh, arrested for weapons manufacturing for a mob family. And then, of course, we've got Victor, who is sort of the... Uh, a little bit of a mastermind. Uh, the XDF has been using Victor to solve difficult cases for, for quite some time. I mean, it's a nice little plush little, uh, nice little plush, uh, nice plush little cell. It's really good. Very, very yeah. nice and comfy. Got some fancy new necklace. It was very nice. Yes, and he was given some lovely uh, bling bling by um, by Logan that has sapped away um, his, his, his power, his great power uh, that was there. And with this, um, the group was formed uh, through Logan's... Mm, Ability of persuasion, Logan's way with words, his methodology has formed this ragtag group to hunt down what is a serial killer or a copycat serial killer. Uh, With that, Kagan has not smuggled you on board, but has given you all false identification, which I meant to ask you guys if there was any sort of false names you guys wanted to, like aliases that you guys wanted to go by. Um... I should have asked. Logan you. was given one, right? Uh, Morgan Thorn. Yeah. Lo, well, yeah. Logan was. I mean, you all are given one, mm-hmm. but you guys are are able to choose what that would be. So, more. You said Morgan uh, Thorn. Morgan Thorn was the name he gave. Morgan me. Thorn. It's not creative. My partner's not creative. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh. Dodger, what would you like your alias name to be? Uh, I can also give you one if you'd like. Wash Diskers. <laughs> That's. Oh, no. Well, I will be giving Dodger. <laughs> That's not what the XDF would give me, and you yeah, know yeah, it. Yeah, but yeah, give yeah. me a name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll say Tommy Lisbon. P. Tier Griffin. Thank you. Yeah, that works. <laughs> nice. Uh, Victor, what, uh, what kind of alias would you think the uh, xdf would give you um i could also like oh. i said if you want me if you want to hit the just give me one i'll give you one but i want to give you guys the chance yeah i i want you to give me one because i think he's gonna hate it <laughs> reginald <laughs> yeah peters yep yep that's about <laughs> yep. As I, yep. Thought. Yep. I hate it hate it Actually, true first right. names <laughs> <laughs> Not a vampire. Oh wow, that's a really good yeah. Um Karis, would you do you have one or would you like me to give you one? Um in terms of naming, I'm basically uh not even there, so please give me one. Tabitha Reeves. Oh god. <laughs> god, I regret Tabitha Christie. <laughs> Tabitha Reeves. Just double checking. My name was Tommy Lisbon, right? Yeah, Tommy Lisbon. You don't even you don't even go by Thomas. Your parents named you Tommy as like your actual name. Wow, Thomasy Lisbon. What a good name. What what's my last name? Reeves. Tabitha Reeves. Reeves. R e e v e s. Oh, okay. Yes, indeed. Uh, no, Reeves. Just make it Reeves. Just Reeves. <laughs> How many you e's know, in that? Seven. You know what? <laughs> Tabitha Rees. Oh my god. (laughs) 
<laughs> it's up to you whether or not you scream it every time you say oh it. Oh my god. Tabitha Reese! <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, no. Eli, what about you? What uh, Do you want me to give you a... I'm assuming I'm going down the list giving everyone a name, but... Uh, give me yeah, give me one. Mm. Francis Holloway. Dude, he hit you with a Francis. I'm just I feel that pain is original. <laughs> I'm just giving everyone some awesome names. Uh, Hellebore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me, give me. Give me, give me, give me. Okay, here's the here's the thing. Would would the XDF know your your name your 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 name Piper, or would they have? Uh, known you I by mean, it's Hellebore? probably on the rap sheet. Mm. Okay, all right. So they, I thought it'd been funny if they're just like Piper. <laughs> it's like he just keeps calling himself Doctor as a first name. I don't know, man. God, I'm uh. Ted. Dan Bundy. Ted Smith. <laughs> As you can tell, Good. we've reached the bottom of the barrel. I've got nothing Ted Smith left. Eats look, plain at all, toast. look at all these normal ass <laughs> humans. That I, I mean, we have three T's humans. in the party. Yep, yep. Yep. Ted Smith yep. finds so everyday spicy. humans. Yeah. Burns the lens, winks at the camera. <laughs> Ted Smith. <laughs> These are some good names. All right, so you're given false identification. Uh, this allows you to get onto the um, the, the, the the shard ship that's going to port you over to uh, Southern Ishtar. Uh, for let's 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 uh, let's talk equipment real fast. Let's go ahead and talk mm. equipment with that, and then what you guys have on your person. So I did ask. Yes, please. I did ask Logan at this, you know, like, hey, so what kind of gear did you want to give everyone? I think you're holding on to everyone's weapons. Is that is that correct, Logan? We are not giving that to the, uh, uh, the currently. Dash yet. has everyone's Dash weapon. Dash is holding down yep. everyone's weapons. Okay. Yep. So if you could tell me everybody's stuff yeah. that would be great so uh, there are <laughs> well there's another thing so because this is a commercial flight you cannot have weapons on your person uh you can't actually be tra you can't even transfer weapons uh via the shard ship it has to go through a special uh, uh it's supposed to go through a special transport process that could take anywhere from um two to four weeks depending on your arrival over on the other side so um what kagan has done for you is smuggled aboard everyone's weapons along with the contraband weapons that have been granted over specifically to uh to to logan and dash karis has not been given any weapons because karis has stated all i need are these and then, and then, nice. yeah. and then, and then she kissed her, and kissed and her, she kissed her fist. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh, she, uh -huh. yeah, that's all I need. That's all I need. take my weapons. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, your weapons, which uh, Dash, you would receive a weaponized uh, tower shield, a protector's yeah, yeah, tower yeah, yeah, shield, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that is modified so it doesn't have any of the XDF uh, symbols on it. Uh, and uh, Logan, uh, you will receive a contraband pistol, a shard pistol. Um, all of that is smuggled away. Um, you are given the... Oh, boy, here we go. I'm just gonna... <laughs> uh, you are given... Copy-paste that. And I guess I'll copy-paste over here. Uh, this is what... This is the serial ID of the container uh, that it is on. And so at some point in time, you will have to get your weapons back. Uh, either Lord. once the ship has arrived or in mid-transit. If you don't, well, you will be arriving at Southern Ishtar, and if the ship leaves without you, uh, you won't have any weapons, and we'll have to procure them some other way. Uh, Wait, so for clarity, they're not on the same thing we're on. Oh, sorry, no. Usually, they are not on the same thing they are. However, Kagan has smuggled these weapons aboard right. the ship that you are currently on. Right. So the typical process when it comes to the transfer of weapons, if you don't have your own spaceship, which is extremely expensive, especially if you're on a commercial flight, uh, your weapons are not part of the same transport. 
Uh, instead, it is usually, it's typically transported a different way. That's just the, the typical way how it works. However, for your case, your weapons are smuggled aboard the ship that you are currently on. Does that make sense? We just, yeah. So we just have to make sure that when the journey is done, Correct. we claim, we claim that package. Yes. You have to make sure okay. you claim that package. Uh, if, okay. if you know, and just, yeah. Just... This is for me as well too, as a yes. detective. Yes. Okay. Yes, that is correct. Uh, well, you keep in mind this case, you are not officially a part right, right, of right. the XDF. So you can't be like, yes, XDF. I'd like to reclaim my weapons, please. Because if the XDF finds out what you're doing, uh, they're sending your ass home. Uh, the cons are probably going to be in worse trouble than they already are. Uh, and everyone will either lose their jobs or also be arrested at that point in time um, for doing such a, for essentially doing a an, an, an illicit mission without the XDF's blessings. So this is very important that you are all, <coughs> you know, doing this very carefully and not getting caught while doing it. So does that make sense? Yep. Yes. To everyone, perfect. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, someone have a question? Sorry, I heard Summer no. screech, and I just assumed Summer had a question. Like, Summer was no. no, sorry. <laughs> I, I think she was laughing. Oh, oh. sorry. It's going to be a lot of just random manic laughter. No, no, on it's fine. Screen. I just want to make sure I'm not, like, taking it as, like, haha, manic laughter, and then, like, blowing you off. I just want to make sure <laughs> that everyone has the thing. Okay. Um, another option that you guys have, if you must have a weapon right now, is that you may sleight of hand a simple weapon on your person while being boarded aboard upon the ship. Simple weapon. Does my book How count about... as a simple weapon? Yeah. Does your book count as, I mean, so if you have a book, I mean, you could easily just be like, this is my book. Sweet. Yes. My okay, book. so same with like a spell casting focus, like a ring yes. or something. Yes, okay. as, as long as it's like, you know, what's that? You're like, oh, it's just a, don't worry about it. So yes, um, for spell casting focuses, it's incredibly, incredibly easy to smuggle on board because they are already in lieu of, of that. Um, typically, what uh, the, what how uh, transport works on commercial ships is kind of it's kind of a little bit of how how we handle flights in real life. Um, there will be security personnel on the ship in secret in disguise as. Um, as essentially just as if they are mm -hmm. also on the on the ship, so you don't necessarily know who the security is, but the the commercial ships are usually uh, pretty good with the security detail to make sure everything is everything is gone. Yeah. So. <clears throat> uh, but yes, if someone would like to, uh, does anyone interested in in sleight of handing a simple weapon aboard the ship, or not? Because essentially um, you're, you're all taken pretty quickly from the XDF or smuggled from the XDF and headed head straight over to the central station. Uh, I hate myself for making this character. Uh, Dash would not because it's illegal. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just I'm it's fine. It's yeah. Yeah. For, trust, trust me. Uh, you, you guys have played with me long enough. When I say, hey, these are things you could do. It's definitely not a. You know, you have to, yeah. Like, like nudge, nudge, like probably a good idea. This is just to give you guys the option if you m feel that you must have a weapon on you at this point. So no one will be sleight of handing. By the way, the if the, <clears throat> if, if the uh, if the cons would like to do so, uh, you're unfortunately going to have a higher DC because you're going to have to deal with the cops that are looking after you as well as trying to get through. So I I I will admit right off the bat that the cons you are on a higher difficulty right now uh than the cops at, in this in this uh in this campaign so i apologize for that uh you logan you said you will be smuggling aboard a simple weapon yes mm -hmm. and what what kind of weapon will that be are we talking a, like a knife a dagger or something? yeah like a pocket knife okay uh then what i will need from you is a sleight of hand check especially mm -mm 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 -mm. okay how do I do that within uh, the foundry? So if you go over to, let me double check the tabs as well. Uh, if you go over to, boop, boop, boop. sorry. I, uh, I see it under skills. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just, just, yeah. Click that skills. Oh yeah. You got to, okay. I, I totally forgot. You guys have like your own hotbar because you control your own character. Yeah, dude, you're killing it. Thank you. 
Be as long as your token's on the screen. <laughs> I mean, that was, that's more of a This is creature. just a normal roll? Uh, yes, this will only be a normal roll of sleight of hand. Oh, oh baby! Oh. Okay. Just a normal roll. Just a normal, a normal roll. roll. All right. right. Uh, Logan, uh, you are able to smuggle aboard um, a pocket knife, which has the same functionality as the dagger. Can I ask on... you a question? Yes, please. Because that's such a great roll, mm -hmm. can this be one of those, like, flip out things that also has like a screwdriver and like a like a nail file and like all the things that has the well so if i'm assuming you already have thieves tools on your person um yes so you know what the way i would take is i think they would probably want to confiscate your thieves tools as well uh i will say because you were such an did so well in the sleight of hand you also managed to get your thieves tools on, on my man well. so and you know what? I really do like that idea. So we will actually say, oh, that's so much fun. Sorry. Uh, yes. Yeah. So your your dagger does actually function as thieves tools. It is literally like a uh, Swiss, like a like a like a Swiss Army pocket pocket knife, essentially. It, oh, yes. It, it func you can use it as, as thieves tools. You can also use it as a weapon. So I will add that's that. Cool. Yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of fun. Um, I will call it an Ishtarian pocket knife will be the name of that. Oh, 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 very cool. I've had this since the war. Not saying that, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, Nishtari <laughs> pocket knife. Uh, and all right, yeah, you managed to you managed to get that out of board. Um, cons, are you attempting to smuggle things under the eyes of not only the cops, but as well as the, the uh, security system over at XDF? Do I want to grab my bone saw? Where would, okay, the question I have for you is where would your bone saw have been? In my bag. Is it ready? But here's the thing. Yes, it is ready. <laughs> Did the cops give you back your possessions? Well, then it's, well, then none of us would have been able to smuggle anything because all right. of the, they had all of our stuff, so no. Right. Uh, but you can, I mean, that's what I'm saying is like, I, I will allow you to, when I say simple, when I say like simple weapons, I mean like while you're walking along, you like, you know, you grab a thing on, on the way or you break off a piece of metal or you break off like a little improvised weapon. So a scalpel instead. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Would have been great if I would have been able to grab my bone saw, but also scalpel. Hmm. Well, the good news is your possessions are already smuggled aboard the, uh, the ship. Love that bone saw. It's named Sawy. I don't know. I'm good with my book. I'm just talking at this point. Can I um mm, I don't want to spoil anything. Are you um are you mm, I'm just gonna message you because I I, 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 I wanna okay. be I I wanna be coy, but at the same time I feel like it's not gonna work. Oh wait. I wouldn't smuggle anything about it. <laughs> oh no! Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> please describe how you look like to everyone, please. <laughs> I mean, me personally. Well, oh God, it's an ah. Uh, well, we agreed that. I, I, I got a message, you did. Yeah, 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 see, see, you try to be coy, and you can't, you can't. Sorry for all the secrets, everyone. And I mean, while I'm gonna try and smuggle a chainsaw on board. Okay, uh, <laughs> slide of hand, please. <laughs> Natural 20, smokes his chainsaw. Let's just, just see what happens, just to, for the sake of... <laughs> In an altered reality. Oh my god, you're like... Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. Get out! Oh god. Get out! And like all the security <laughs> just tackles Victor. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha. See, I yeah. assumed. Yes, yes, okay, so... Uh, okay. I oh. sneak a dog on. <laughs> you're the dog. You did it. Oh my Yay. god. Yay. <laughs> Pat's, oh my, did it. Pat's self. Did just you bring a dog on, yeah. instead of a gun? <laughs> it's Pomeranian. They're kind of like weapons. Look, I just Bork, found Bork. this here. I just found this here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, with with all of you, you all have... Uh... Eli, you're not smuggling anything? Nope. Okie dokie. Then we're ready to go. Um, an Ishtarian pocket knife has been smuggled in by Logan. 
Uh, Dash has nothing because he's a good boy. Uh, Karis yeah. doesn't need anything. Kisses muscles. Uh, Victor. Uh, what, I don't oh, need anything. I'm oh, good. Yeah. I've just got my arcane focus. Yeah, don't need anything. Winky face. Uh, Eli doesn't need anything. And Hellebore uh, is not bringing anything on as well. I have my book, but I would like to try to smuggle in a weird way that thing that's in our DMs. How would I do this? Uh, oh boy. How would I do this? Let me think about this. I need a moment. Would it be slight of hand? I need a What do you think? Does anyone know how to turn up the opacity on my chat in Foundry? Yeah, I was literally trying mine's to figure that out because I can't read anything. Yeah, else mine's really see through. See-through. There's uh, oh, there's opacity. Hmm. Yeah, on your screen, I just saw your stream. That's how it used to look. Oh, yeah, so um, so if this helps. Uh, go ahead and click the dialog box, uh, and if you click it, it should pop out. Ah, I see. Press the pop out button. Do you see where it says pop out exclamation mark? What? Okay, do you see... Sorry, one second. Do you... When you click your the dialog box uh, over yeah. it, and yeah, uh, it should kind of, uh, right click it, and it kind of pops out. It's still transparent like this. You should see a pop out exclamation mark over here when you right click the dialogue box i have yeah, popping out does not is it still not transparent yeah it's i don't looking know. real weird oh <laughs> god yeah. yeah oh i see something is definitely broken then hmm i like you can turn up the opacity somehow but i just don't know how i don't well i i don't think it's supposed to be like that is the thing because yeah it's weird that it's happening to both of us yeah, yeah it's completely I, see-through i can't read anything it, it really. also just happened to me uh try refreshing something may have broken mm, okay Try to do a do a refresh. I will also do a refresh. This is a private game. You are not yeah, allowed got that as well. in. Oh, I have also kicked out, Maybe. been kicked out of my own game. Hmm, interesting. La 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 Changing. I was trying. I was leaning in to read I mean, the words. I mean, I, was like, I mean, what the I mean, going on? Well, I mean, it broke for everybody apparently, so we definitely needed that. Sorry, everybody. I blame uh, the cops. <laughs> what? Oh, dude. Dude, what do you mean? Guys, wait. I'm a con. Wait, I blame the cops too. Yeah. No, no, guys. Join us, snake. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, that did fix it. Hey, nice. Hey, everyone. Nice. So, so everyone, uh, everyone good? Everyone good? Oh, good. Me? All Sorry. right, perfect. No, don't apologize. Sorry. Don't apologize. Pulls out Ishtari. Sorry. <laughs> Push his fingers. Sorry. Uh, all right. So you guys <laughs> will. Uh, <laughs> you guys. Wait, the thing. What do I? What am I rolling? Oh yeah. This? Sorry. Distracted. <laughs> I got distracted. Uh, I'm gonna do some rolls. Let me see here. Okay. I want my ding. My ding is important to me. Make a stealth check. Okay. I'm sorry that I can't explain to the players or the audience what's happening. Nice. Okay. Ooh, hey. Okay. And a sleight of hand check, please. Okay, okay. I don't have guidance. This is weird. Well, first of all, if you try to guide these roles, you definitely be known that something is going on. Oh, true. Yeah, you're not this is weird like, not having guidance. I've played too many clerics. Yeah, you played too many guidance. Uh, okay. All I will say is you successfully have it. And no one yes. knows that you have it. <laughs> yeah. All Snuck right. in your dignity. <laughs> That's God. All right. <laughs> so. With that, are you ready to board the commercial flight of the Brigham? Here we go. I'll also need to, I'll also need at this point, well, I guess before we do that, before we board, before we board on the ship, I should. Oh, I pa I turned that off. Sorry. Oh, ah, re, 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 re. Sorry. One second. One second. Oh, I break. I do all the breaks. 
Let me try this again. Hey, there it is. All right, so you'll be boarding over one of the shard ships specifically used uh, for transporting people um, in and out of... Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. What the heck? Oh, you moved it down there. So sorry, Wait, guys. Wait, can I, can I not affect those just for me? It can. I've been turning... Okay, because when I turn them down, it seems like you immediately turn them up again. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no Whenever no that track restarts that happens. Yeah, uh no. that's that's yeah, no, you can you could adjust it. It's just literally <laughs> okay. I'm adjusting while you're adjusting. It literally kept feeling like well, like <laughs> I was like no. and then they would turn no, yes. back up. So, there's, there's no the, way in hell that I am controlling this. There's yeah. the currently playing area, but then there's also the global volume controls drop down. You want to change the global volume controls drop we're, down. We're learning. Oh my god. Yeah, we're learning. We're we're all yes. learning. We're all learning. Turn everything way down. Okay. Yeah. We're, yeah. I have a bunch of stuff down. We're we're all learning together. So, uh, so let me go ahead and take you over uh to the uh to the the whole map, the whole fucking shebang bang, the whole fucking world. Zoom it's out. It's the shebang bang. Welcome to Io. So, uh, if you want to zoom out, I'm gonna go ahead and do some pingy pings over to let you know exactly what's gonna be happening here. You all are located over uh, here, actually. This is Zeros. Right right over there, I believe. Yes, because that's what the region map is. Uh, Levo's done a great job. Uh, you'll be taking uh, the shard ship, and you'll be flying over here. Do you see where I'm pinging? Your mm -hmm. flight path has no. you... Uh, it's, uh, so zoom all, yeah, zoom all the way up. Zoom all the way out. <laughs> His ping's just below the big sun. Yeah. So when you zoom all the way out to look at the map, uh, do you do you see this this ping over here, Snake? Very tiny ping. I will also just. Those? I could also yeah. I'll just also just draw a line. That okay. Yeah. I, I got it. Okay. Cool. I'll also just draw a line over here. So uh, you guys will be going. I'll just make I'll just make the flight path. Oh God. Hey, there, there, there they go. It's like 90 feet. <laughs> it's like 90 feet. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to press enter. And then hopefully that should do it. Okay. So see that white line? That is your current flight path. You'll be flying uh, over to uh, southwest. You'll be flying around the core of Io and arriving over to southern Ishtar uh, over in the region of Jotun. Uh, where the facade murder has taken place. Uh, this trip, I guess it counts more in like all international at the speed that you guys are going, uh, will be, let me, let me think. Yeah, this is going to be about a two day flight. So two you were, days, uh, hold on day and a half. I would say day and a half. Day and a half? Is this like go from New York to Australia? What the hell? Yeah, I mean, it literally is. I mean, you're literally going going clear across Io to get there. So that's uh, that's what's happening there. You can just go through the sun. Yeah, you can also just go through the core. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Cool, yeah, yeah sorry. Is a... Short campaign, yeah. <laughs> Can't okay. believe the gods didn't make the continents closer. What the heck, guys? Yeah, well, the planet blew up. What the fuck do you want? Uh, so, <laughs> I will now take you aboard the ship. <clears throat> uh, give me one second. I actually have so many maps now. Welcome to the flight of the Brigham. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, so is it, it? Does it look like a kind of a, like a space shuttle? A little bit, yeah. It's it's literally a cross. It's a cross uh, arc uh, uh, shuttle um, that takes you over because you're literally flying uh, not only over ocean, uh, but you're literally flying between broken chunks. You're literally flying over broken chunks of land masses that are the arcs. So you will actually be at at one point, which you are currently right now, flying over space. Uh, do you guys see where your tokens are at? Yep. Yeah. Where, 
Where would you where would you all like to be like sitting in organization? I guess Logan, it's up to you as far as these six you know, this 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 row of seats are available for all of you. Is this kind of like the way you'd want to have it? Prot's making um, sure that the, everyone's Can doing I have well. control of my character really quick? You sh You should be able to I think control. I Let's think because it's paused, I can't move. Oh, that's why. Boop. I forgot yeah. I could pause. The game. <laughs> yes, you have control right. of your character style. Better now. <laughs> uh, by the way, you you can't walk out of the ship, so don't worry about falling into into, into space. Essentially. Um, I have an important question. Yes. Uh, is there a, a decent amount of time on this ship where? uh the the seatbelt sign is off and people can walk around yeah absolutely well i mean so after takeoff the seat belt sign is always off primarily unless you guys are going through some sort of like solar wave or solar flare or something like that or being under attack uh the ship itself is very stable so you're always going to be safe as you walk around um, Dash is one of those people that is just constantly like pacing up and down the aisle like standing for a while at the uh -huh. back like <laughs> He doesn't like sitting for that long. By but the way, people when they like stand like next to you and you're on the aisle seat and they just stand yeah, he's just you. standing. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dash, if you'd like to explore around the ship, you are free to do so. The doors are open and uh, anything that's locked that you have no access to, you'll know right away. Oh, um, Dash wouldn't Dash wouldn't leave this area, I don't think. Okay. Unless he was told to. Okay. <laughs> Where are we going? I don't know you people. <laughs> Uh, this one will walk out, and the door will open to uh, what sounds like a small dining area before the doors close back. Victor, I see you've gotten up from your seat. You'd see Victor looks pretty uncomfortable because, like, back when he was out and about, it, it was more like, you know, horse pulled carts, and then they were just getting steampunk technology. So he's kind of sat there uncomfortably in the middle, not wanting to be near the edge. Right. This uh, this man will look over. Chan, look him. Sit back down. I just get the whole road to myself now. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's hellboard just rolling around. Oh, what's Logan doing? Uh, you know that thing where like you're asleep but also awake. Yeah. Where you uh, like look like you're asleep but you're definitely watching everyone. Oh, so you've it's got me. like your eyes. Okay, gotcha. If you're just doing like. You're keeping watch, essentially. You're on, like, a sentry position. But his head is, like, resting on the window. Gotcha. Karis, what are you doing? Um, Karis is probably just going to sit in her seat and wait more or less patiently, but every time that Dash, like, passes by, she'll stick her hand up for a high five. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Bro! <laughs> Give me a high five, bro! Bam! What? Bam! <laughs> the entire ship quakes. <laughs> Every time. Oh my god! I'm looking at um, Dash. Can, like, since he's up and walking around a bunch, yeah. can I do like uh, just a general, I don't know, like investigation or perception check? Like, I think that he would have probably done like a decent amount of people watching. Okay. Yeah. So, what are what exactly are you trying to discover and find out? Um, I don't think that he's necessarily trying. This is why I'm saying it's probably perception. I don't think he's necessarily trying to like discover anything. He just likes people. So I feel like he's just kind of like Oh, gotcha. Not not staring at people, but you know, he's he's like sort then, of quietly yeah, observed gotcha, a lot of gotcha. people that are on the plane. Then I would say yeah. this would be a uh well, uh this is going to be a secret role for me. Uh I'm just going to oh, go ahead okay. and do a private GM role. So I'm going to be rolling insight for you. And uh, chat's going to know what you rolled, uh, but you're not going to know what you rolled. Okay. And then I will let you know the results of that roll. <laughs> okay. Brett, right. right. point of order. <clears throat> yes. Uh, while you're making the secret roll. Yes. I was just looking over the uh, people aboard this flight. Yes. And I was about to say to you like, wow, I'm so impressed with the just amount of NPC art that you've created. And then I was gonna make a goof about like, oh, it's gonna be funny when people from this flight start turning up in other scenes and they have clones. Yeah. And then I realized in this scene, there are three clones of the same elf. Yeah, yeah, so, I mean, NPC art. All right, 
yeah, takes yeah, 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 yeah. an extensive it's amount great. of time to do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I understand. I just thought it was very funny. It's great. Yeah. You're doing um, great. Uh, I will let you know. Yeah. Every week there will be more NPC <laughs> art. Uh, it's just specifically to avoid the cloning issue. But yeah, it'll take some time. Um, so, Dash. Yeah, yeah. You, for the past several hours now, have been walking around. Uh, some people, I, I would say, are a little irritable um, when it comes to your <laughs> general pacing around over, especially. I don't think you've been talking to anyone. Uh, no. <laughs> I will uh, say that everyone's just kind of been going off of their business. But there are four people that every time you pass them, they seem to turn away a little bit. Not really welcomed to your presence. Okay. This individual, this individual, this individual, and this individual. If you zoom out. So four individuals, every time you walk by, seems to be a little apprehensive. I think I missed the last one, sorry. Yeah, yeah, if you scroll Hat out. Man. There's this a, guy, Yep. this chick, this yep. guy, and who's the last one? This guy. Right, you might be able to shift the ping to oh. draw attention. Ooh. Wow. 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 wow! There we go. Oh, oh that, that's pretty okay. fucking cool. Nice, 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 nice. Thanks, Snake. <laughs> God, I hated that. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. What are you talking about? That was the wow. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they just seem a little apprehensive. A little shifty. Okay. Not shifty, just apprehensive. Okay. <laughs> Those, that was your words, not mine. Uh, what is your passive perception? High five. <laughs> Dash. Dash, wait. Oh. I've been on hey, this bud. flight for like three hours. I don't know any of these people. Where are we going? Uh, that is classified, probably. <laughs> I love Dash. That is classified, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Probably. Uh, uh, what were you gonna? What were you asking? Sorry. No, it's all good. <laughs> I love that. Uh, perception. I'm also gonna do another private roll. Ooh, yes. Okay. Uh, Dash. Yeah. As you are walking around. You will notice with the power of the wow ping. Wow! Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, this goblin is gonna walk over here, close the uh, door. I gotta figure out why the camera auto zooms sometimes. Okay. Hmm. Do I know what's what's down there? Uh, have you gone down there yet? Uh, I guess I'm just asking, like, uh, did we come from there? Oh, what, when you like, boarded on the ship? Uh, no, yeah. you, you would have boarded... Through through the dining cart. I'm looking right now to see where you would have boarded. Uh, yes, yes, you would have, you would have boarded, through, boarded through the dining area. Okay. But yes, the goblin kind of, like, shuffles over. And a little bit of a apprehensive rush because of your general perception of people. Yeah, I'm also trying okay. to figure out why I have some tokens selected here and why not. Eh, we're learning. We're learning. We're learning. Uh, so uh, so yes. Uh, you'll just see the goblin go there and go down. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. He'll sit for the first time in four hours. Okay. Uh, is anyone else doing anything in particular? I'm just weirdly staring well, at Joe's character while laying upside down on the chair. Uh, Victor, like with my legs spreading across all of the chairs. Uh, Victor, you'll go ahead and see uh, this uh, young he, man staring at you. He's not going to turn his head. He's looking straight forward and goes, Yes. <laughs> You're old. Yes. And what That's exactly it. are you? <laughs> I'm an amalgamation of dreams. And leftover body parts. Oh. How quaint. 
He's now going to turn and look at him. Oh, by the way, you and can press I... F on your token to flip if you'd like. To flip to flip over to the other side. I wondered. Um, Thank you for saying that. Also, I because I also, I also know some, some people are having some trouble. Uh, when you move your token, after you have clicked down with the left mouse button, you can then hold shift to move off tile if you'd like. Hmm. And then, so yeah, you hold shift, and then when you release the, the click, it'll move you off tile. Just just FYI, just something that I figured you'd be interested in. What exactly do you bring to the team? <laughs> I'm here for the ride. <laughs> oh, goody. <laughs> what's do you know where we're going? Nobody's told me yet. I don't know you. Hi, what's your name? What's Victor's demeanor right now? He's very kind of just placid face, like uh, like he's being forced to talk to someone's kid, you know? <laughs> I'm... <sighs> Enforcers. Where exactly are we going? That's classified, I think. <laughs> you think? It is classified. <laughs> Look at Karis. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll nod. Yeah, classified. <laughs> <laughs> What's Dash's demeanor right now? Uh, um, <laughs> you know, when dogs are really excited to go on a new trip. Yep. He's in a good mood, dude. He's never <laughs> been on this flight before. <laughs> this is great. New flight. New, so, you know? Yeah, so you've been moving around, not from apprehension, but you've been moving around because out of, out of excitement. Well, it's like a combination of, you know, any any tall person knows that a flight sucks ass. So right. he's he just doesn't want to be sitting for very long because, yeah, he's got a lot of energy, but also like his knees, you know? Yeah. So... Uh, yeah, he's he's walking around a lot. Generally, like, yeah, he's in a good mood and he's he's excited. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do another secret roll from this pers person. Uh, I'm loving these secret rolls. Man, I keep rolling. Oh, okay. Um. Eli, you'll notice that this individual is attempting to open the door. And you just kind of hear... And he's struggling because the door appears to be locked. He's looking around confused. Just like like holding up his arms like, what the... What's, what's going on here? He sighs a little bit before he kind of like squeezes over here. And uh, opens this. This is all happening over here, by the way. Uh, and then uh, opens the door. You'll see he walks over into as that door closes. He's walking into some some bathrooms. But this this door is net locked. This door is unlocked. It seems. Eli, you've noticed that. Is that unusual? Uh, for an airplane to have a bathroom hallway locked yes the doors are supposed to be open access so people can use the restroom unless there's some sort of maintenance going on hmm. uh, I was gonna say I think I like if it was me like Dukes on a plane I would assume that was a potty um yeah so it's a hallway that leads to potties oh I see yes the hallway itself is locked. Just to be clear, I know that's a hallway. Yes, because you actually saw the gentleman walk down here, and it was a hallway of bathrooms. Okay. And he wa walked into a uh, side bathroom. Uh, I'm going to look to my left to see if the woman over there noticed. This woman over here? <laughs> yep. She did not. She's just going to stare at forward. <laughs> Yeah. How did you do that? <laughs> By the way, yeah, you could you could have the option. If you type, uh, it just pans to you with a little yeah. chat box. It doesn't. It, I don't pan because I have that disabled. But yeah, you guys, you'll see, you'll see those pans. <laughs> uh, Eli, continue. Um. So, up. 
to this point, Eli would have been. I assume I got my stuff back. Uh, which stuff? I, my personal belongings. You're... After being incarcerated. Uh, Just, that... uh, weapons aside. Weapons aside. Uh, Logan. Would the cons have received their personal belongings? Just like books and stuff like that, that aren't weapons. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We gave them like clothes and books, just they don't have weapons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so you, you have all your belongings as that is not a weapon. Yes, that is correct. And up to this point, Eli would have been head first in a, a field notebook of his. And upon seeing that, he would stow it and with a groan stand. Okay. Start making his way down the aisle. All right. While Eli is doing that, is anyone else doing anything of note? Can we... Ch I mean, I would like to see whether or not Dash notices that. <laughs> uh, oh, if Dash, what, noticed uh, the, the door opening or Eli moving around? Notice that Eli is, yeah, going toward that door. I mean, assuming that you are probably keeping an eye on all the convicts, yes, you would have noticed Eli is getting up and going to the door. Okay, Dash would hop up and walk over and be like, hey, let me come with you. You know, just gotta, like, stay by, you guys. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Eli, what are you doing? Um, trying the door. I assume it's still locked. Yes, uh, it's supposed to be an automated door that, that just opens up to lead you to some hallways. So you like just gonna stand there, look up at the the frame, and then turn back to Dash. Everything After okay? You... Oh, all right. What did you just say? Having a good day. No, he said, is everything okay? Oh, I thought you said, having a good day? Like, just trying to make some conversation. <laughs> no. Um, I, Eli, you will hear the sound of machinery or like uh, something electronic component-wise shorting on the other side. As you hear a tsst of a sound of the door opening and the door closing, and you hear the shorting sound again. Dash is trying the door. Uh, the door, like, how are you trying it? Well, he he told me to try the door, so I'm trying the door. Okay. It's, uh, I know it's locked, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is a... It, so it's kind of like a moving metallic door. Or, so it's supposed to be like... So there's no, like, lever. So when you're... Oh, it when, slides. Yeah, so when you try the door, like, what are you doing? Walking <laughs> into it. He's, try, he's trying to open it. He's trying to slide it open. <laughs> Uh, go ahead and give me a strength check. Oh my god. Just a straight strength check? Just a straight old strength check as you're trying to force this door. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. So you just see at this point, Dash braces against the metal door, his oh, no. fingers digging into the side, and with almost an ease to be like open, you do a tug, another tug and i guess dash you just you were just like oh i guess it needs a little more of a, of, a, of a tug and you just hear the sound of as the door begins to break against the very own mechanism that's keeping it locked uh <laughs> eli his eyes widen and he takes off his glasses uh, Dash, do we hear Dash, that over here? Oh, absolutely. Like, everyone hears it as everyone's <laughs> now turning Are we around. Are breaking things? Dash actually, like, gets it about halfway open before realizing, like, this is definitely not how this was supposed to work. And he looks around and goes, um, I, I'm, I think I broke it. <laughs> Look at Eli. Oh. Um, so. Karis is gonna run over. Uh, Immediately. I'm, so I'm going to delete this wall uh, because that door is permanently broken <laughs> and open and will nice. not close again. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, do I see, do we see anything down this hall? Uh, nope. You see two. Uh, uh, you will see uh, just yeah two doors that lead to the bathroom, and then you'll also see uh, that that door over there probably leads to some sort of. You're not sure where it leads to, but it's probably nowhere that people are supposed to be. <laughs> Dash will um, sort of uh, and uh, and scooch out of the way and gesture to Eli like after you because Eli was the one who needed to go that way. 
uh, a good like three seconds will pass before Eli simply says, "Thanks." Uh, Did you just destroy the door? No, no, I didn't mean to. I... But hey, he said thank you to me. That's like progress, right? Dash, we can't pay for this door. I... Well, I didn't do it on purpose. <sighs> Eli will attempt to investigate the the other side of the doors here. There's any sort of mechanism that had been tampered with or anything. Okay. Look, I'll I'll will fix it. Uh, but, Car- Karis, you noticed that maybe. the uh, individual that was sitting here uh, got up and just sort of like 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 quickly moved away. Oh. She... I was watching me. I was watching him. He's over here, right? I, the player, did not notice. Where did, where did they go? Uh, you would have noticed them. Uh, hold on. You would have, they you know, walked up, crossed over some rows of chairs, and is now sitting next to the man with the hat. Hmm. Uh, I think Karis would be more concerned about Dash right now, breaking okay. this door. Okay. <laughs> but I think I think she kind of keep an eye on that side of the uh that side of the ship okay and see if there's any more movement while you're doing that uh hellebore <laughs> has rolled off i'm assuming the chair and is now sitting oh yeah next next to logan he rolled off of his other chair and like looked at victor crawled on the floor and then crawled up these chairs and just got right next to Logan. He's just staring at him. Is Logan like still like half asleep? Yes. Yeah, he is. He looks, he appears out of it, but is keenly aware of everything going on. I'd like to attempt to plant my thing on him, Brett. <laughs> okay. I will need a uh, posing sleight of hand with a perception. <laughs> you be more specific about your intentions? What do you mean? Uh, I'm trying to like put something you're ba- in your pocket. <laughs> you're about to find out. Uh, I need Logan to make a perception check, and I need uh, Hellboard to make a sleight of hand check. You got this. This will be a public roll. Uh oh. Uh oh. <sighs> so, Logan. Being half asleep, I say in quotation marks because you actually are not. Uh, you will <laughs> notice that Hellebore is trying to place what appears to be a severed hand in your pocket. Uh, Logan, while still while leaning up against the window, eyes closed, reaches out and grabs the uh, the real hand, not the severed hand, right, <laughs> of his new neighbor, and just holds it there, and is like. You don't want to do that. <laughs> but funny. Uh, you notice then that the severed hand starts to move. You know who loves severed things? Dash, huge fan. Go <laughs> mother Dash. Okay. <laughs> he and his severed hand will go to bug Dash then. Oh the my severed God. hand okay. uh, waves at Logan. Right, all right, bye. <laughs> also, the severed hand has googly eyes. <laughs> it waved at you. Because why not? I need to get a token. <laughs> <laughs> um, Victor, uh, mm-hmm. just checking in with you. What are you doing? I think he's not really... I think he's just people watching at the moment, just kind of staring at the different people of the, uh, the transport. But I don't think he's, like, miffed by what's happened so far um kind of just being patient and similarly to logan all right just yeah so nothing in particular that you're doing just kind of sitting and waiting Mm -hmm. very politely okay uh hellebore you walk up and at this point uh this scene will continue as eli walks down the hall eli what are you doing uh checking the other side of the door for any sort of obvious malfunction or tampering all right head on over to the door and give me and investigate um actually i'll do that for you so you'll walk over um yeah go and give me an investigation check so 
a tinkerer of your nature as you look around the door at that point. I mean, it's locked because it's supposed to be locked. Um, it's probably over into some sort of maintenance area um, or storage area. Um, but you can tell um, from the the access port itself uh, appears to be fried, as if someone has had some, someone has done some shard hacking into the door port itself to hack it open. Um, and thus destroying the panel in the process. You can only assume that since the door is now locked, they have probably done the same on the other side. Because the panel is fried, it, it, it pretty much means that normal access is not possible. Um, hacking still is, though. All right, son, I got good news and bad news. What you want first? Uh, oh, me or the party? That was two dash. Uh, good news. Good news is I think you didn't destroy that other door. Well, I mean, oh, you did, but I think it was broken really first. Really good. Oh, okay. Um, what's the bad news? Whoever did that also did this. No point to the fried panel. And then he uh, will go back to his seat. <laughs> Just walk, uh, walk by Dash. <laughs> yeah, Dash will back up to oh. let him out. We will, uh, um... What does that, what does that mean though? I don't know, you're the prod, figure it out. Don't look at Karis. <laughs> Someone's tampered with the doors. He'll whisper that to her. Kara, Karis then will remember the dude scurrying away and she'll whisper back at Dash and say, um, I've seen someone moving around a bit. It seemed a bit uh, urgent. Maybe it would be best to take a look around, see what we can find out. Oh, uh, who are they still here? She'll motion in the direction of these two. He'll uh, he'll look over there. Oh yeah, they were acting super weird while I was wa well. A lot of people were acting weird while I was walking around, but they, they, they seemed really uncomfy while I was walking around. Does that make sense? That makes he'll, sense. he'll look at Eli, who we have literally trapped here. Does that make sense? Makes sense. <laughs> who else? <laughs> what are we talking about? Oh, hey, Pipes. Uh, Nothing. Go sit down. <laughs> Logan told me to come give you a hand, and he holds up the hand. Oh, Eli what's will that? On his glasses. Uh, he'll t he'll take the hand. Oh, uh, the hand will like crawl up your arm and sit on your shoulder, kind of like a parrot would. It walks Whoa. like a spider. Eli will then take off his glasses once more. <laughs> <laughs> did you do this, or did your mom do this? <laughs> I did this. You know, mom. She only does like the animal ones. Oh, that's super impressive. You've like come such a long way. <laughs> Thanks. What are we doing? Oh, um, it, uh, <laughs> look at Karis again. Karis is, Karis kind of shifts uncomfortably. She does not like, <laughs> she does not like the hand, <laughs> but she's gonna, she's gonna shake it off and then kind of just, uh, mention back to him. She'll, she, she'll say, um, They've split up for now. How about you keep tabs of the guy up front? Okay. See if you can hear anything or see anything that he's doing. I, I think we should tell Logan. She wrinkles her nose. <laughs> if you want to tell Logan, you tell Logan. And she's just gonna uh, squeeze by. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Squeeze by five first. Oh, and he'll, he'll come back and give the hand back. I at don't, don't point, worry. You keep it. You can use the hand. At this point, I will have to pause the game. Do, 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 do. Uh, would you guys like to take a small bathroom break? As an event is really about to worried. Happen. That's. Uh, <laughs> This is what you get for sleeping dead. 
We caused it's trouble. Fine. Uh, we'll take a small, uh, small break. Let you guys do a little bit of a, a breather. As I, I, I will, I will leave this note. Uh, the ship does a violent shake. Okay. At this point, okay. like everyone will feel a, a a big like a jostle as you a, 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 a jostle as you'll kind of hear like the thrusters kind of putter out a little bit. Hey, I think we screwed up, guys. <laughs> so I jump into Dash's arm. Save me <laughs> with the game pause. Go and take a take a bathroom break, and uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be right back. Boo boo boo. Put the pre show music on. And we're going to play some ads for our lovely audience. Uh, <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll mute for a minute just so I can also thank the subs, people who have subbed during this time. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. All right. Uh, bathroom break. Go ahead, take some time, stretch your legs. I uh, want to go ahead and give a shout out to, uh, let's see, we've got WS Shave, the tier three sub for 16 months. Davis Edge Lord, the tier one sub for six months. Uh, uh, Birdo, uh, uh, Birdoff XIV, I'm so sorry. Thank you for the tier one sub for seven months. Uh, Muzog, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the Rec Pack. And Al Algora, uh, Algora Gora, the tier one sub for six months. If you guys, uh, today's stream is sponsored by our very own Patreon. Uh, head on over to our Patreon to get some cool perks, including MP3s for the campaigns, uh, region maps and early access to art assets, work in progress art assets, and early access to music releases before you can see it on other platforms that we are currently working on. You could also get uh, raw uh, music files that's created specifically for the IOverse with a lovely uh, ability uh, of looping wave files that you can use for your own BTT. It loops perfectly with Foundry, so I highly recommend that. To everyone who supports the uh, the Patreon, including our $50 tiers and above, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. So much. I'm gonna go use the bathroom. Uh, Mads, thank you for the tier three sub for 11 months as well. Greatly appreciate it. I'll be right back. I'm gonna use the restroom and then we'll, uh, we shall resume. I'm back. The music didn't loop. I'm so sorry. 
that you've been sitting in silence this entire time. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm unmuting. It's time. I'll be right there. I Hello. Oh, 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 Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I was singing the Oompa Loompa song. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> Epic. And then we'll wait for uh, Dukes to come on back as well. Yeah. Guys having, guys having fun today? We? Mm hmm. I've got to hand it to you, Britt. You said that. Great times. <laughs> I love you, Snake. I see what you did. I see what you did. I'm sorry, uh, Snake. I did this for you. I, I did this for you. Snake, there's probably an airlock on here. All you have to do is convince Sama to go into it. <laughs> right. That's it. How do you like the uh, the map and like the foundry? That's pretty cool. With the you know moving clouds and shit like that. Yeah, it looks good. Do, looks really. I nice. do have a lot of questions about space clouds. Yes. Um, is that atmosphere from the planet or is that some sort of space gas? Uh, it is. It is atmosphere from the remnants of the planet. Specifically, since Io is a shattered planet, there is still some remnant atmosphere that was left by the theetic inter intervention of Io's gods. Uh, but because there's literally nothing below it, uh, you are seeing the depths of space. Of course, this is all just made up science. So any actual science, you know, major slash academics. Now, does it rain like in space? Does it rain in space? Ooh. That's kind of cool, actually. Would it freeze? I would. I would think it would freeze down? immediately. Yeah, I think. I think. Where it would, would just rain go? Yeah, I think it would. Uh, I think. I think it would just freeze up and then just dissipate into space itself. I would imagine? Question mark. That'd be extremely dangerous to be on a ship. Yes. Yes, it would. <laughs> oh God, Benji's here. <laughs> Looks away in shame. No, 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 no. Just remember that the answer to everything is magic. Yeah, magic. Well, that's what it is. Magic and shard yeah. technology and, and Dietic intervention. I like to I think can't that believe. Go ahead. I was going to say, I can't believe the gods couldn't put the world back together with super glue. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dietic intervention. Yeah, any technology it is. Yeah. I uh, I absolutely want um, to build a, a solution to Io where there is a uh, water collection that is underneath all the arcs of Io where all the water like naturally falls off. Um, that there actually is some sort of collection device that cycles the water either back into Io or some sort of like water processing plant that is, is then brought back into like a, a, a like a reverse waterfall reservoir back like back into uh back into the planet so it's cool it's just cool just like making your own ideas and solutions and inventing your own science to it um yeah it's been uh it's been a lot of it's been a lot of fun gravity pulls the water back into the art yes i think yes, dodge is back by the way oh dodge is back i just i oh uh is do it. It, oh dodger's good hello okay hello mm -hmm. yeah sorry i saw you were muted so i thought i didn't want to I didn't want to to push. All right. <clears throat> so I have paused uh, because a thing is about to happen. So Karis, as you have walked over, uh, you will actually see this gentleman stand up. Um. Hmm. I think. We're about to enter into high stress. What? <laughs> what? So, first off, you will see this gentleman step up, hat upon his head, as he will pull out what appears to be a small shard pistol and yells out, all right, now everybody calm down. We're commandeering this ship. You will see all the people around begin to, you know, start to panic a little bit as they, they begin to look around frantically. As over to the north, you will see uh, this man open the doors so that everyone in here, including one Victor, probably sipping a drink at this point in time or doing whatever Victor mm -hmm. will do, uh, can now hear the, uh, the, 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 at this point, just the, the action that's happening. 
Uh, this woman also walks up, opening the door. The man with the hat will continue. I'm going to be very direct with my commands. We have taken over this ship. The plan is to deposit you guys off in an island that you'll be safe in. You'll receive a beacon where Zeros will come over and protect you. And then we'll be taking the ship for ourselves. Now, I know you all are probably looking for some sort of security entail to stop this, uh, this criminality that is happening. But I assure you, we already have that covered as the security detail is right over here, pointing to the two people now guarding the front of the door, along with yours truly, the Desperado. I need everyone to sit down, calm down, and we'll be done with this as quickly as possible. So, I need everyone for the first time ever to roll initiative. This isn't necessary. This isn't necessarily for combat, and I will actually it is. start. <laughs> combat, oh, yeah, combat by your choice if, if that is what it is. Uh, but since we are, we have approached a high stress scenario. Uh, I will let you guys take your turns to do what it is you'd like to do. Um, to roll initiative, select your token, and then go over to the utility button, and then click roll initiative. I'll also make Roger, sure. How are you getting yours to have your little uh, avatar plus, you know, not showing the yeah. Are you just better From than me? D&D Beyond. Because I'm better uh, than you. Ah, okay. Oh, you guys are using D&D Beyond? Not me. I, I'm apparently the only one who is. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Epic. All right. I know it says combat tracker, but this isn't combat. Unless you want it to be. Smile. Um... So, uh, let me hit the pop. Do I want to pop out? No, I want... There we go. I can't shrink this down, so... This is my one of my first times using this, so my apologies for the, the clumsiness. Okay, there we go. All right, so... Um, are we in order here? We are. I'm going to go... I'm going to go back, back, back. Well, uh, looking at everyone's initiative rolls, well, I guess I can't go back anymore. Uh, oh, I can just hit begin combat. <laughs> okay. So the declaration has been given. Uh, these individuals are looking to hijack the shard ship. They are going to be depositing everyone off into one of the floating crags or islands that are around here. They'll be placed, they state they'll be placing a uh, safety beacon or a, a beacon, uh, like a distress beacon, so that the XDF or the Zero Force or whoever can come out will come out and save you, and then they're going to commandeer the ship. Eli, uh, because we are on high stress, we will go in initiative order. Eli, what do you do after hearing this command? Uh, well, I have neg one dex, and I am also sitting, so he probably would go before me. Uh, no, uh, after rolling the initiative, you actually go first. So, Eli, okay. what are you doing? <laughs> I, I, I listen to this. I don't really move. I just sort of cross my legs mm -hmm. and okay. wait. Okay, perfect. Um, you will see um, the individual over to the north. will sort of just walk up here, looking around and making sure that everyone is doing what they're supposed to be doing. Sitting down, calming down, no one's playing the hero. Karis, you are currently over in this row, fortunately, next to the Desperado. Oh boy. It is now your turn. Oh God. <laughs> Kick him in the balls. Oh, w would you guys forgive me? If you, if you, it's, I, you're literally, you're a living weapon. Just fucking take him down. <laughs> all right. Uh, Karis, who is literally like right there, is going to uh, instinctively take her shot and pick. <laughs> uh, Karis, are you initiating combat? 
Oh yeah, she's absolutely initiating combat. Oh yes, my girl. Let's go. Then, Let's then, go. then, without further ado, the first combat session of Deadbeats. It's time for the custom-made boss theme written specifically for the IOverse. So, so with that, uh, let's do it. Written by uh, Jordan Chin himself. Let's go. Ooh. Oh. All right, Karis, it's your turn. Cool. Okay, so she's gonna uh, get up as quick as she can and come over here and just go straight for the punch. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Click your token. Uh, if you go over, just do unarmed strike in your inventory. Uh, inventory. Up oh, there it is. And then click the attack button to do attacks. And click damage button to roll for damage. Uh, you sidewind. So with a 20, I'm going to tell you the following that happens. As you swing over, you make contact directly for the face of the Desperado. Yeah. As you will see a plastic-like substance rip away from his face. What? <laughs> One moment, please. As you will oh, see no. him turn oh, over no. to you with a mechanical face. Forward. Oh, God. A Warforged in disguise. Roll your damage. Uh, all right. Uh, Click the damage button. Okay. Sorry, my I have it popped out, so it's hard for me to find. Uh, all good. Damage. Five points of bludgeoning damage. Hit point bar is now visible. All right. And uh, I will and subtract five points. She's gonna, uh, as a bonus action, she's gonna attack again. Okay. So she's gonna see that, she's gonna see that rip away and she's gonna be like, ew! <laughs> and just go for another, another, uh, another strike. A nine misses, as you will see, as you hear now machinery in this individual, bow down as you take a, 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 a whiff of a strike as the figure stands back up. All right. So, uh, over in your actors area, I'm gonna give everyone access. If I can configure these permissions correctly. Uh, all of you now have access to the Desperado's player notes. So you actually oh, see it where you go with your tokens. Awesome. This will yeah, give yeah. you, yeah, this guys will give you just a little notepad of things that you can go and do. Ignore hit points and all the attributes, those are all incorrect, so. But if you go over to features, you will actually see a feature that you can spend a, uh, in a certain intelligence skill to detect as a bonus action or an action. Uh, you'll see that Desperate, the only thing that you can investigate or use a medicine check for is his unnatural disposition, which now you have discovered he's a fucking machine. <laughs> so, one moment. So I will go ahead and give you the unnatural disposition feature. Drag that in so now you guys know what that is. And now I will add another thing you guys can scan for, the vital weak point. Okay, so with that, uh, that's your bonus action action. Any move that you'd like to do, Karis? Uh, no, but she is gonna scream over at, uh, at Dash and anyone in her party that's in earshot. Yo, this guy's a robot. <laughs> Need some help over here. <laughs> and okay. uh, and that'll be my turn. Okay, Hellboard, it's your turn. Oh boy. Uh, first off, I'll spend my bonus action. I'll do the investigation check. All right, go ahead and do an investigation check. With a 21. And I'll just go ahead and load this up over here so chat can see what's going on. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. uh, with a 21, you are able to identify the vital weak point. So, as you begin to scan over the automatron that is Desperado, 
you will identify the following. <clears throat> You've discovered a weak point across his chest. Uh, if you target the chest, it may give you the upper hand. You'll notice that with his with his dodges and moves, he's especially ins ensuring that he's protecting his own chest at this point. So I will add that to your player's list. Or feature vital weak point. And those are notes that you can access at any time in the player's notebook. Nice. Yep. So, uh, so you specifically, if you'd like to target that weak point, just say that you're aiming for the chest, and that may unlock other things that about the creature. Um, all right. So you spent your bonus action or action to do the investigation. That was my bonus action. All right. You have an action and movement remaining. For my action, I'm going to look at Dash and be like, ah, now I get to show you what I learned at school. <laughs> College sucked, by the way. Uh, he's going to stand up on this chair. Hey, Piper. And uh, from his book, he's going to he's going to kind of like open up his book with his left hand and he's going to do like some arcane sigils in the air. And then with his right hand, he's going to look like he's kind of reaching into his book. And then what, when he pulls his hand out of his book, he's holding like a transparent, ethereal, like red gun that almost looks like it's made of glass. And he's gonna line up a shot and he's gonna shoot a fire bolt at this lady down here. Okay. And I go, and I go pew. Okay. Uh, which, which, go, which who are you attacking? The, the, this girl down here. Okay. Uh, act normal. Does a 12 hit? Uh, I believe a 12 does hit. Um. Uh, oh, uh, no, it does not hit. As you will see, uh, she kind of like dodges a little bit. The firebolt will actually scathe her side as her own heart, heart, hardiness, as she doesn't appear to be wearing sort of armor, just deflects the blow. He like she, looks at the uh, ethereal gun that he made. It. Yeah, she flex. She kind of sort of like flexes it off. Yeah, uh, he'll look at the like ethereal gun that he made and just kind of throw it on the ground and it shatters. And he's like, "Okay, need a new one. <laughs> Do better next time." And then he hides down below the seat. <laughs> okay, does that end your round? Yes. All right. So at the end of a, end of your round, Piper, um, as a as an encounter ability. You'll actually see the Desperado um, hold, hold his ear, scream something, and he goes, Gobs, starboard now. The ship begins to tilt, shifting over to the, star, the starboard port. I need everyone to make a uh, athletics or acrobatics che uh, check. As the ship begins to tilt, you all begin to feel yourself uh, falling over. You'll see the Desperado kind of like slap his feet down to the metallic floor as whatever's in his boot apparently magnetizes him to the floor. This, however, does not happen with his allies. So I need, yeah, I need everyone to make a, uh, yeah, athletic rapper acrobatics. As a person sitting, do I need to do that as well? Uh, you're already technically prone. So, Oh yes. my God, what are these nines? I'll, I'll say, oh, I'll say no. yes. All right, nine, nine, 11. Is that uh, everyone? Oh, ho! All right, Eli, you're able to keep your footing, even though you're, are you sitting down currently? Oh, yeah. All right, uh, I believe everyone else is kind of actually doing that. I will also be rolling some acrobatics. Uh, so if acrobatics. you're sitting down, uh, what did you say for sitting down, sir? Well, you're, you're kind of already considered quote unquote prone. So something okay. else will happen instead. All right, uh, and... Okay. <laughs> so um, everyone that failed will move over this way five feet as you guys tumble down to the ground and go prone. Whee! Uh, sorry. Uh, trying to get the... Where is it? Oh my Ugh. gosh. I'm sorry, hold on. I'm trying to figure out the icon thing. Assign status effects, there it is. 
Uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just put the weekend. One of them is called prone. Oh, uh, which one? Uh, if, if we click on our tokens and go to conditions, you can literally oh. click prone. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Also, Dash, do you remember what your, uh, your, uh, initiative was? I think I actually, like, kicked you out of it. Oh, no, you're still there. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm just at the bottom. <laughs> okay. Actually, I think, uh... I yeah, was I... right above Key. If that's okay, cool. How you pronounce your name? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll um, have... I'll but have... I, was sec I was second to the bottom, I think. Okay, cool. I'm still, uh, I'm still learning everything, Smile. All right, uh, and Dr. Hellebore was... Okay. I'm just gonna roll team. Yep. And make sure you guys are there. Yeah, if I actually click a button, I actually put you guys out of the mission. So I'm gonna do 12, just so that you're within order. And then if you're above P, I'll also do, oh, yeah, 12. So 12 and 13. You guys are sharing shit. Gotcha. Okie dokie. Uh, Logan, you'll kind of like tumble over here on this side, but nothing really happens. Eli, you're okay. good. And Victor, you also sort of like tumble over off in that direction. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yes, this gentleman will uh, also tumble. Hellebore's down. initiative was also 13. All right. Mm -hmm. I, uh... They already went. No, it's all good. I'm trying to figure out. I, I thought I changed your initiative already, so I have to. One moment. Let me. There's like, it, like everything's like a different role now. Can I manually change this? Well, we do. Oh, this is weird now. Sorry. Twelve point one. Question. Roll NPCs, roll all. For some reason, I can't re oh, I can't reshuffle everyone. Yeah, you've given me 12.1 temporary hit points, which I assume you don't want me to have. Oh, that's, that's. Hmm. I'll take them though. <laughs> uh, oh, I can update your initiative value. There it is, okay. Update. I figured it out. And Hellebore is 13, correct? So yes. Mm. New system. All right. I think we're good now. That should have been nine, right? Uh, oh, I got I a nine. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, sorry. I was nine, and Logan was also nine. The numbers nine. confused me. But Logan so. goes first. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. Yep, that's perfect. We did it. We got. We fixed it. <laughs> we, did, we got there, guys. We got that. Thanks for I'm your so patience. Thanks for your patience, guys. Uh, all right. So yeah, the it, so the ship begins to tilt over starboard. As it tilts, uh, a, a lot of you just begin to fall. You actually begin to see uh, civilians also just all tumbling across as screams begin to echo within within the ship. You begin to hear the sounds of glass breaking, people panicking as they're all tumbling on the floor. Victor, you are sitting down yes. and you begin to hear just the a, a combat has at this point uh, broken out. Uh, so you, you've you tumbled over there. Uh, you're mm -hmm. technically already prone because you're sitting down. It's going to take half movement to get up. And, uh, and yeah, so what are you doing sitting down? Uh, the one who came through the door. Yes. And I look towards him. He fell down, by the way. He's like, That's he's okay. like, ah, <laughs> damn it, damn. I'm going to make eye contact with him. I'm going to say, <sighs> well, I'm going to first cast Charm Person. Ooh. Laying out a little spell. He has to be a DC of, it's a uh, blah, 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 wisdom save, and he has to be 14. Okay, 14. Let's do it. Saves, wisdom save, normal. 15. Sorry. That's okay. After he sees it, it like passes over and goes, Oh, well, guess I'll just have to do it like this. He steps up. Uh, so it'd be 15 to get up. Okay. Uh, and then... 
Do you uh, want like a grid, by the way? I can uh, uh, add a grid if you'd like. I don't mind. Five, ten. So then uh, I still have plenty of movement. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm just going to start walking towards him. Okay. Uh, he and... feels the charm magic going over you and he looks at you almost in a slight panic. I say to him, <clears throat> should have just let the charm happen, I'm afraid. I have no time for bandits and brigands. And then just smirk with a big old toothy grin. Nabby it. Okay. Um, you'll hear over on the, the intercom, just kind of like, Hey boss, what's going on out there? Like actually blaring in the entire shard ship intercom. And the Desperado looks up, looks around. He holds his ear and he's like, wrong channel, you idiots. <laughs> Before he just looks about again. And he just mutters under his breath, Kerasil hear this and goes, just keep working. And then you just hear in his ear, you got it boss. All right, I'm gonna do a roll. Let's see. I'm gonna do a roll, Smile. It's gonna be a secret roll. Okay. <laughs> God. All right, so a thing happens on the ship. <laughs> cool. Um, all right. Uh, all the doors lock uh, close and lock on the shard ship. As oh, you just hear all the doors just slam shut. Victor, you'll notice this man who's on the ground look over to see the door close behind him and then move yeah. over and looks back at Victor, cursing under his breath. Does he think oh. Victor did that? Can he roll to see if he thinks Victor did that? I, I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll do a roll. I'll, I'll say hi. I'll, I'll he do, came uh, right after a really good line, so I feel like yeah. Uh, uh, ten and under, uh, he believes that Victor did not do that. Oh, <laughs> he looks at the door lock, and then Incredible. he looks he looks over at Victor, and uh, I'm just gonna say he Whoa. is currently. Frightens it now. He shit nice. his pants. Oh no. <laughs> I like that. I like that. The desperado at this uh well is going to look over at Karis and say, uh I see you're a bit of a brawler. And uh pulling off his gloves and it dropped to the floor, you see these metal chrome fists, and he goes, Let's dance. And he's going to attempt to punch you twice. Huh. Oh, oh. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Here we go. Uh, 11 to hit. Oh, uh, 16. And a 20. So goes in. You're able to parry it. You're able to blow it off before he goes back with the with the hit with the 20. Oof. Dealing two points of bludgeoning damage to you. <laughs> you get the resources so everyone can see what's going on. Always assigned to everyone and your hit points. Whoop. All right, you just took some damage. Took two points of damage. And Kara, there you Kara's go. Gonna take, that, take that and just look back at him and smirk. She, she she takes it straight on. She's like, all right, time to dance. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it. Uh, Logan, you see the Desperado and Karis getting into a fisticuff fight. What do you do? Is there, none of the other people have acted yet on their team besides the goblin talking. That is correct. Uh, the, well, actually, well, from uh, across the room, another person, Oh, actually, no. Uh, yeah, no one, no one's taken anything. No one's done anything at this point. Uh, man, is there some sort of ready action I can do in case, say, for example, this this character right here comes down the aisle 
Can I like spring out and grab them? Oh, do like a grapple? So what you could do is move over here and say, I ready a grapple if they run by. Yes, you, yes, you can. Great, yeah, that is what I would love to do. Yeah, I'm not gonna do anything that makes me look like I am a hero. Does that make any sense? Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I don't want them to know there's more than there's more of us here. So I'm just gonna sit tight. I'll move over and make it look like I'm like, oh no, what's happening? <laughs> by the way, I, just in case. Uh, by the way, I figured out what that value was. That was everyone's hit points. So I'm gonna re just reset that now. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you're ready to grapple in case this woman runs down. Okay, uh, Dash, it's your turn. Um, I think once once Piper like jumps down and hides, he's gonna be like, "Stay there!" And then he's gonna uh, sort of like call out to the whole room and say, "Everybody, stay in your seats. Keep your heads down. Please stay calm." You look around to because all the people that have fallen down from the starboard. Shit, moving to the side. <laughs> and then um, he's gonna move this way. Okay. Uh, and he's gonna say, you are literally, I think, the only person who knows how to get through these doors. I will protect you if you will get us into there to make sure, please. This won't come back to no, never mind. <laughs> Fine. Just cover me. I got the rear! <laughs> um, and yeah, Dash is gonna uh, sort of like turn to the rest of the room and he, he squats down a little bit, like almost making himself bigger, like he's a human shield. Nice. Um, and uh, that will be my turn. Okay. I don't, think I, I don't think there's anything else I want to do, really. All right. So Queen is going to... You see a turnover. She hears the of all the doors locking. She turns over and begins trying to push it, and she pounds it in anger. And then she just begins to look over, uh, sees the Desperado fighting Karis currently. She... Ah! And she goes into our Barbarian's Rage, and then... Five, ten... It steps over this guy, 15, 20, 25, 30, and it just begins charging down. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Go ahead and make a uh, athletics check. <clears throat> Can I, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. mm -hmm. Athletics, you say. Mm -hmm. Oh, I also stood up on my turn and then yeah. moved. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> well, that okay. didn't work. <laughs> Look, no! <laughs> All right. Uh, she is going to roll at advantage. Because she is currently raging. I got one good roll, and I've had none since. I'm sorry, did you say raging? Uh, she's raging right now. She, go, she went <clears> to <throat> a barbarian's rage. Uh, so you go, <laughs> not, not yet, you don't. And she literally just shoves you off and then looks over at you. And yells, keep down, old man. And that's it. That's the end of her. her, her oh, uh, Logan. At, at her round. As she, uh, at that point, you'll see her hold out her hands. And you will see a shard axe manifest within the, with the gloves that she's wearing. Uh, and yeah, she'll uh, take a dodge action at this point. Top of the round, Eli. Do I have my thieves tools? Y uh, yes, you do. You would have everything that was on you. That, that wasn't a weapon, so yes. Uh, very, very slowly, very methodically, Eli will stand up and start making his way to the back of the ship. Okay. Um, you'll go over, I'm assuming, to the panel, taking your thieves tools, which also includes a small little hacker kit um, to begin tapping into the, uh, into the panel that's over at the side. Uh, go ahead and give me a thieves tools check. How do I roll that? Uh, just click the button. Use oh, there we go. Tools. Got it. Oh. All right. So as you begin to tap into it, you'll see it spark and fry. And uh, yeah, and unfortunately, you're going to need more time with it. That'll be me. All right. Oh, God. Okay. So 
currently frightened and prone. The man currently down with the menacing Victor now lurking over. Uh, there we go. Will <laughs> slowly get up uh, from prone. And then I just need to check one. Definitely gonna be some disadvantages here with the frightened. Expansion ability check it. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Um, so back up against the wall, Victor menacingly coming over. Uh Victor, you will see the familiar energies of Eldritch Mike begins to circle around the individual as he blasts out a familiar Eldritch Blast. This will be at a freaking disadvantage. Whoop, ignore that. I'm going to roll normal twice. An eight, as you'll see the Eldritch Blast just just out of fear, just like, pss, pss, and just fizzle out over there. Oh, this dude. See, Victor doesn't move. And just, yeah, you continue to, to, to move. You continue to step forward. Is there pity on his face? On Victor's face? Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of just like, well, actually, if he's, if that guy's feared, like his first almost. fight in what hundreds of years. I mean, to be fair, I, above board, if that hit me and he got a good roll on it, I could die in one hit. No, no, don't say that. That's not, that's not reality. Scared, man. Yeah, yeah. I, no, I, I, dude, no. I should, I should a little bit. I should a little bit. Um, all right. Uh, Karis, it's your turn. All right. Uh, Karis is gonna, like, Karis is gonna get up from being prone and at the same time take a big old swing at uh, this guy's chest. Okay, so you're aiming for the chest. Aiming for the chest. Let's go. Hell Let's yeah. do it. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, An eleven will miss as he par as he goes off to the side, dodging. Uh, she's gonna step in and do another one. With a 17, like, as as the Desperado dodges from your one blow, it's, it was a feint at that point. As you go in for the other strike, it lands perfectly with his dodge to your punch straight into his chest. As you, as you break his chest cavity open, oh you God. see <laughs> an exposed shard heart that is within his body. He looks down in a panic and stares over at you. All right. We've got some notes updates. So. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll do five points of damage. Uh, Karis is going to look at that shard heart and kind of give a small laugh and say, um, looks, li <laughs> looks like you have quite the weak spot <laughs> might want to hide that a bit better uh yeah he looks at you aghast uh you all have gained a new feature to investigate slash use a medicine check his exposed heart specifically what you can do with that Karis, is there anything else you'd like to do uh nope that's it all right um, perfect uh <laughs> hellebore you notice that desperado's uh, chest cavity has been punched in, exposing a shard heart of an automatron. I get up from pro and I peek my head over the seat. <laughs> I look around like an owl. Oh, I use an investigation check. Okay. Uh, you actually gain an advantage on this investigation check because of your previous successful investigation. Nice. <laughs> All right. Now comes the fun part. I will be adding some new notes for the exposed heart that you can do. I'm smart, I promise, guys. I'm smart. I just don't seem like it. I promise. So, with the heart exposed, you are given two options. You may target the heart, allowing for one attack to be double damage. Or, you may pull out the heart from his chest. Make a grapple check oh. with the Desperado. Upon success, Desperado's hit points immediately drops to zero and becomes incapacitated. Either way, the shock of grabbing the live heart will inflict 3d6 lightning damage to you. Um, and wow. that is 
and that Wait, has been three d six. Wow! That is, you are literally you are literally grabbing a open conduit to rip it out. Uh, yes. I understand. Yeah, you could, like, that would die kill die, any right? of us. Yes. Yeah. So. Like that could actually overkill you as well. Yeah. So be careful. Or you can just punch the heart once, um, and that and whatever that hit is, it'll just do double damage. Um, but then you can only you only get that double damage once. Um, that has been added to your player's notes uh, for the Desperado, if you'd like to look at that at your own time. Um, but yes, that was your bonus action, correct, Teleboy? Yes. All I'll right. let deal with that. She seems like she's having a fun 1v1 over there. I also <laughs> I also want to let you know the way that um, overkill works. Um, if you are dealt uh, double your total hit points and damage, uh, you will start with uh, one failed death saving throw unconscious. Um, if it does triple your, uh, your your total hit points and damage, you start with two death saving throws. And then if it deals quadruple, that's the insta kill. Okay. That's that's how uh, massive damage works in the eye universe. Just so everyone is aware. Sick. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, Hellebore, right. what are you doing? My apologies. For my action. I'm going to reach my hand into my book again after doing some sigils. I'm going to pull out another gun. This time it's a revolver. And I'm going to shoot three times at this lady with magic missile. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, he's medicine. She's menacingly holding the axe over Logan right now. I like to imagine that like each shot is just from the revolver. It's like one shot and then he turns it two shot three and then. Yeah. Oh, fun. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, go ahead and roll. Uh, you, is it three missiles? Yes, there's one. Just to, yeah, click the damage uh, three times. There's two. There's three. All right. Updating the token. So we got three, two, five, and eight. Okay, so you're going to deal eight points of damage. As she just, yeah, she gets a wallop of that, of those magic missiles flying over, each one making impact upon her before she just, like, she, she, she gets all knocked yeah. down a little bit. Yeah. He goes, <laughs> and then ducks back down. <laughs> God damn it. Okie dokie. Uh, Victor, uh, you just saw this individual throw it up last Belgish magic over you, missing. He is visibly frightened by your presence. You can see Victor's kind of like, if he's frightened, Victor's like breathing in with his nose, smelling. I did promise myself that I would eat better when I left my cell, but I suppose you could be a cheat day, if you will. <laughs> and as a bonus action, he's going to start unbuttoning his shirt. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Holds it aside. And you just see as his rib cage just kind of pulls in and his entire skin just goes <laughs> sucking in all these kind of spectral hands and underneath it. His fangs grow. His face becomes more angular. His hair looks like it's underwater and becomes jet white. It's like that scene where Galadriel turns into a uh, into a kind of form and his body almost like starts shimmering, almost like he's lagging, like it's kind of just blurting around. Mm -hmm. His entire form changes into his form of dread. Excellent. And there you oh, are. Oh yeah. Uh, for our players, and look at this at the at the at the uh, stream to see what that form looks like. Oh, it looks so cool, dude. Damn. Uh, I love that you got art done for both forms. Yeah, it's super fun. I love it. Uh, I get four temporary hit points, and then he's gonna be drawing back his hand and just launches an Eldritch Blast and it kind of looks like a like a screaming face going towards him let's like a <sighs> oh god yeah everyone is staring at this is is hold on one second I'm gonna before you do that I gotta change the thing uh, everyone is now looking over at this form of dread and I'm just gonna you know everyone is now frightened so that is now you don't trip to, to remember man trip to remember a 15 to hit uh, a 15 will hit. Uh, that'll be nine points of force damage. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and make sure you see this. Hit point bar, you see the, uh, the 
does your Eldritch Blast look different than typical Eldritch Blast because you're in your yeah. form? Yeah, it looks yes. like a kind of a screaming face. Um, always the kind of a different one and like just kind of almost like screams and hands coming out and it's like a whitish kind of glow. As you throw the Eldritch Blast, it makes contact and impact over uh, with, with the, the young Eldritch caster. His body... Do you remember in Harry Potter when they were doing the wizard duels and whenever a wizard, it would hit someone, they would kind of do like this somersault in the air and they fell down flat in their face because of the impact of the of the spell? Yeah. Yeah, that's what you did to him as he just immediately falls unconscious. You can see like Victor just kind of draws back and a little bit of that guy's fear kind of enters into him. And another little spectral hand kind of appears underneath his ribs. And then I think, uh, even though I don't need to for a minute, I think he's going to drop the form then and kind of return back to normal and just go back to buttoning up his shirt. Okay. I love how none of us can see this. None yeah. of us saw it. It's so good. Oh, and I, then I kind of think he's going to want to see it. Yeah. And sit back down as if nothing happened. All right. Uh, he's going to return to his the chair. Wine. Yeah. <clears throat> and yeah, go back to his glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just cowering. <laughs> Not this guy, though. He's a badass. No, just kidding. He's himself, too. <laughs> I've seen things. <laughs> I've seen some things. Uh, My mom has a form of dread, so... All right. I know it, I know it says dead, but they're actually uh, unconscious. Unless you meant to kill him. Did you mean to kill him? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I he's dead. Yeah, then he's dead. He's bleeding <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. no longer for right now. <laughs> And that'd be first, the kill, first kill, <laughs> first kill, first kill. All right, Gobs is going to be doing some things. One second. Uh, private roll, private roll. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Oh boy. Okay, uh, you guys begin to feel uh, the ship begins to shift as if it's already changing its course. And the intercom you hear again. I'm in the control system, boss. And the desperado just sighs. He's ignoring the fact that this is blaring over the intercom, staring over at uh, Karis, heart exposed. Other things are in action right now. The desperado will use one fist to try and cover his heart as he swings uh, again uh, with just one attack as he's trying desperately to protect his, uh, his, his self. Does a, yep, that's a 20. <laughs> yep. So that'll be two points of damage over to Karis. Another punch to the face. She takes uh, it head on. Logan, you just see uh, a flurry of forceful magic missiles just pelts over here as you begin to hear the giggling of Hellbor behind the chair. What do you as far do? as I can tell, this person is a, like a, a not a, a warforged robot monstrosity. This is just like a, a partner. Yes. Ah, this um, group really hates warforged. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, just saying. Uh, <laughs> can I? Yeah, I'm. I did want to stab her, but I don't. Uh, because <laughs> I I'm, do, but I'm I like, don't. But I do. Well. The he Jesse wants in me wants to murder this person, but the detective in me needs answers. So I'm gonna try to uh, use unarmed combat in the hopes that I can drop this person unconscious so we have someone to question. Okay. You can also attack with the, the, the dagger and just say you're doing um, you're, you're doing uh, like subdue damage. You're not trying to kill her. Trying to Does that unconscious. give any disadvantage to that attack? Nope. You're just letting me know that you're, you're attacking with the intent to not kill. Ah, uh, then I will do that. Do I have that uh, button? Yeah, let me uh, let me add that for you right now. My stabber, the, the old stabber, the old stabber. The old you, oh yeah, stabber. you actually already have it in your inventory. A dagger. Yeah, just go ahead and attack with that dagger. Where will you see these? Uh, if you click your token and press the I inventory need. button, you will see. I oh, need. you know. Oh, you know what it is. Your weapon's not equipped. I let me equip it for you. What? All right, I have equipped it for you. So now if you go to your inventory, gotcha. you should see dagger. And um, just for the sake of my own clarity, no one is engaged with this person besides me in 
melee combat, so there's no sneak attack, correct? Correct. Gotcha. Boop. And then press the attack button to see if you hit. That's a critical <laughs> miss. As you go in, trying to like charge as an old, you haven't, you Morgan haven't Lance done. Morgan the sauce, dude. Yeah. <laughs> You haven't done like any actual, like all the perps you've been chasing are just pickpockets. This is actually someone who could hold themselves in battle. As you just slowly just it's like swing over, uh, you will actually, as you move over, um, her response is to simply counter attack because of your critical miss uh, with an unarmed strike. So she's just gonna, yeah, she's gonna go ahead and, 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 and give you give you a punch. Is this not bad? All right, I'm just gonna do this. Does an eight, yeah, an 18 break your armor class? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, so she counters. So as you like do the slow slash, she grabs the side of your wrist and just, poof, just decks you right across the face. And she'll say again, sit down, old man. I'll kill you if I have to. And you'll take two points of damage. Oh my uh, god, two points of damage is such a huge chunk of our bars at this point. Yep. Yepers. Terrifying. You're in a terrifying situation right now. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do, Logan? <laughs> no! <There's laughs> I'd like to get a good roll. <laughs> oh my uh, god. Uh, Dash, <laughs> all hell's breaking loose in the ship. Yeah, Dash will see like like Logan. He sees Karis, and uh, and he's gonna he's gonna like slide over to um, the Piper, and he's gonna say, "Can I trust you? Can you keep them safe? I I have to go." <laughs> like gesture down the hall. I love you. Yes. Oh. Okay, cool. <laughs> and then he sticks his tongue out as you walk away. <laughs> kind of like a bratty kid. What's Eli's demeanor right now as he's struggling to get the uh, the panel to work? Um, a bit of frustration, but mostly intrigue. Okay. All right, Dash, what else do you do as you move over? Oh, goodness. <laughs> I didn't bring a weapon. All I can do is uh, like a really small heel. So uh, <laughs> I can, yeah. Dash, uh, do, Dash, do you can offer I, do you offer moral support to Eli? I was gonna say, can I can I help? Can yeah. I do a help action? Yeah. So Dash, being the good boy that he is, uh, is uh, will probably have some sort of like fun little trait, like cheerleader. So like when you're like <laughs> watching someone work on oh something. God. You're cheering him on like, hey, man, you got this, dude. Just don't worry yeah, Dash, about it. Dash is the sort of person that like really loves watching people do like what they're good at, you know? Yeah. And he can he can tell that Eli is like focused. And uh, and I think um, in in not like a like a super aggressive way, I think he would just sort Absolutely. of softly be like, you got this, man. I believe in you. Cute. <laughs> Eli will look back, like half turn, and then turn back to the door. <laughs> uh, Eli, your next thief's tool attempt will be at an advantage. Yay! If you decide to take it, you could also reject it and reject Dash and Tyler. Fuck this kid's <laughs> positivity. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So with the punch to the face, I'm gonna, mm, he's gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do, you know what? I'm literally gonna, <laughs> yeah, you are not a threat. I am sorry, Logan. She turns back around, having punched the old man in the face and showed him what's for, is gonna move over in the general direction of where she's seen someone literally throw magic. So one, two, three, four, five. And then she'll step up over the chair and look out Gosh. down at Elipor and be like, ah, gotcha. And then she will <laughs> leap off the chair and then crush down with her ax down at Elipor. Um, I'm gonna die. Maybe. <laughs> ha ha, maybe. All right. 
doing an attack roll. Does an eight break your armor class? No! Oh so my you, god, you missed the wizard! So you tumble. You sort of tumble at this point. And yes, I know, I know chat's gonna be like, but she's prone. And she's technically not prone. She's bowing, she's sitting down at the chair. So yeah, she'll uh she'll crush down and you at this I point. I didn't stand up. I meant to I forgot to take that off. Of oh me. yeah, you're you're good, you're good, you're good. Um I just knew someone was gonna say it. If you would like for, for fun, oh man, uh, you take out the prone, you take out the prone. Um, Hellebore, uh, you may move in five feet of any direction um, to dodge this attack if you'd like. Boop! Yeah, so you just tumble across the chair at this point as this ax just shreds down uh, the, 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 the chair, to just shreds down the shardship chair, and she looks at you, rage in her eyes, and uh nope she took damage this turn so she's good to go it was it was my namesake i did a somersault <laughs> oh my god i finally got that oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh. i just the math oh. like all the formulas are going around i'm like that's why you're named that i oh. hate i hate it here oh my <laughs> God, I, I hate fought. it here. I finally <laughs> understand. That's the first time I got that. Oh my God. All right, Eli, uh, do you accept the advantage? That I good, do. That good boy Dash gives you with his oh, motivating yay. words. Okay. Eli sort of shakes his head to himself, bewildered by this kid. Use those thieves tools. As you kind of look over, bewildered, you hear the pss, pss, the zap as the door will open up. Oh, yes. You are still able to move or take a bonus action. Roll a perception check while you're entering this room. You hear echo off, oh shit, <laughs> as the door <laughs> opens up. <laughs> Over to the south. Eli will say in response. Hey, is this where the bathroom is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna flip a coin. <laughs> no, <laughs> you hear echo off. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> My mistake. Keep going. <laughs> Keeps walking. Uh, give me a, give me a, uh, hmm. I'm trying to think of a good skill. Give me an insight. Oh, ho. Eli, as you're walking out, uh, you notice this crate over here right next to you has the serial identification of what was given uh, to where oh. all everyone's uh, everyone's gear is located. Let's go. Just FYI, you're free to give that information to whoever you please or keep that to yourself. Well, um, Eli will sort of double take as he's walking by and genuinely consider it, but then he'll remember that they're probably gonna have to land. So if they see the see people with weapons and tampered with crates and might get confiscated. Okay. Smart. Does, that, does that end your round? Yep. Okay. Uh, that man's dead. Uh, Karis, it is now <laughs> your turn. That was so casual. <laughs> um, okay, uh, I, I refreshed Beyond 20 and, um, or D&D Beyond and it refreshed my health. Did I take four damage? Oh yeah, so God, fun. yeah. Make sure you guys delete D and D Beyond or Beyond Twenty. We are not using that. Okay. Uh, yeah, you've taken good. a total of six points. I want to say no. You you've been hit twice, correct? Yeah. So that'd be four damage, correct? Yes, it would be four damage. Yeah. Okay, so I have nine health. Yes. I match. I put you back at nine. And it's a three D six. That is correct. No matter, no matter the success or failure of this, by the way. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, that, so, that changes things. Yes. Never mind. <laughs> so, yeah, no matter what happens with the result, you're getting a jolt, whether you the jolt pulls out the heart or not. Okay. Uh, uh, pass. <laughs> okay. So what would you like to do? I changed my mind. Uh, 
Karis is going to take uh is going to take another another one two punch. Okay. And how does the double damage work? Um so uh if you say I'm going to aim for the heart one time, um or I'm gonna aim for the heart with the punch, you can deal double damage one time this combat uh to duo well, if you successfully hit. Uh yeah, she's gonna immediately aim for the heart again. Okay. Let's set that attack. That is a oh, critical oh hit. So this critical yeah. hit, oh this, this critical hit will be doubled, by the way. So click the damage oh. and then press the critical button. So it deals 14 oh. points. As you see the heart, just you'll see a spark of lightning just kind of like it kind of like arc out of its chest as the heart like bends in. He goes Ugh! as he covers it up. Instinctively, he just begins scrapping his own chest covering the heart up so you can't inflict the double damage again, but 14 <laughs> points of damage. He is in terrible shape now. Oh, hell Whoa. yeah. Girl. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as he's gripping at his chest, she's going to take uh, she's going to take a step forward and uh, do a quick hook to his face again. Okay. That hits. Six points of damage. He begins to stumble back, clearly on his last legs at this point. All right, and that that's Karis's turn. She is uh, she's having the time of her life over here. All right. Very visibly pleased. At the end of your round, he will kind of like bow back a little bit and stumble back, hitting the back of the chair and like knocking knocking this woman back who then panics trying to run away. You will see him point out his arm over to you as the wrist joint of the hand bends all the way back, exposing the cannon of a shotgun. He will, he will then point over to you. So, let me get this correct. Oh, that poor lady. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so he's currently being aimed over at you right now. Elabor. Do you mind if I KS so he doesn't put that off on his turn? Oh yeah, absolutely. If you if you can KS him, KS him. Okay. Uh, I am going to again with my revolver. I'm going to take two shots at the lady right next to me and then he's gonna kind of look like he falls backwards so the third shot goes rogue but it's actually going to him magic missile so yes it's gonna be a magic missile so it's gonna be the first two is gonna be to the lady right here and then the last missile is gonna go to him all right let's see it oh my combat draggers in the way of my spells uh. of my spells all right so here's the first two to the lady in front of me. Uh, yeah. And then the second one? There's the other one. And then the third one is going to Hatman. Are you aiming to kill? Well, I guess you're aiming to kill with the magic missiles. Yeah, you don't care. Okay. So, with that, how do you kill both of these individuals? Uh, oh my god. He falls backwards and the shots just kind of come out of his <sighs> gun and it looks completely like an accident. Yeah, she, yeah, her body just like tosses over the He also goes chair. prone. And yeah, it, he gets knocked back over here as well. His body just <laughs> as uh Amazing. Yeah, as the uh yeah, he just completely tumbles down over there. He'll look down the hallway, Dash. I think I did it. Why is just laying on the ground, looking at Dash, giving a thumbs up? <laughs> I can see it. Yeah, so... Karis is a little bit upset, but uh, she's like, well, that looked bad anyway, so whatever. The encounter has ended. Congratulations, you survived. Nice. Victor. Uh, yeah, go on. All right, Karis is going to check on this lady real quick immediately because that shotgun was pointed at her. She is sobbing over in your direction. By the way, we're still in initiative order because we're in high stress. Oh, I thought you said, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I apologize. The combat encounters. You can still do that. That's fine. I'm okay with that. 
Okay. Uh, Hellebore, is there anything else you'd like to do? No, I'm just gonna be prone on the ground for a second. Victor, you're mm -hmm. sitting down uh, having a drink, I suppose? Yeah, he's sipping from his drink. Gotcha. And just kind of eyeing the crowd and then says, <clears throat> Oh, please. Everyone. Wasn't a big deal. Sit. For some reason, I can't. Sorry, I'm trying to. Can't see me. Are. No, I can see you. I can see you now. Um. <laughs> are you doing this as a persuasive manner, or are you doing this as a charming manner? Uh, I can't charm that many people. I think yeah. afterwards you go. I said, sit. Kind of glaring around at everyone. They will sit quietly and just stare at you, trying to be. And she falls off the ship. Uh, and trying to fall, just just looking. Oh my god! In general, yeah, just looking in your general direction, calming down, trying to. Uh, yeah, just just trying to keep doing what they're doing. He's gonna finish his drink, get up, and slowly walk back to the other room. All right. The door's still with locked. one foot. Yeah, yeah the doors are locked. As you walk over, the doors are still locked. Hmm. He's going to turn to look at the bartender. He kind of holds his hands up a little bit and just goes, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have any, I don't have any control over the, over those doors. Hmm. We're probably on high alert. Is there another way into those rooms? Oh, God. He will slowly move over, pull, pull, like pulling out back some carpet, and you will see a, uh, a, a vent that a, sm a person can crawl through. And he saw <sighs> it, it just opens a little bit. He climbs over. Well, thank you for the drink. And he's gonna slip down into the vent to crawl back into the other room. Harm the, harm the house. All right. <laughs> um, frightened icon is hilarious, by the way. Wait, what? The frightened icon yeah, is yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um. <laughs> So as you crawl through, uh, Logan, you'll actually see, uh, yeah, you'll see him, you'll see this hatch pop out as Victor is slowly crawling up over Incredible. through there. <laughs> stands, gonna clicks his neck, <sighs> and stands just closes the hatch. The door was locked. Well, obviously. Logan, like, brushes himself off and then goes to sit back over where he was before. Cicero returns to his seat as well <laughs> and just clicks it in. Puts the seatbelt on this time. These motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, all right. Let me... There we go. I have to crack her up. Okay. So, uh, on Gobbs' turn... Okay, uh, yep, moving quietly. All right, he's dead. Logan moves back. Dash, what are you doing? Um, uh, yeah, I think, uh, he would immediately follow Eli. Mm -hmm. Um, do we know where Gabo's voice came from? Uh, so go ahead and give me a perception check and an inside check to see if you get the information. That, oh, also, you, you still like have it. my hand if you want to use it for anything. Oh my god, I thought I gave that back. <laughs> no, he crawled onto your back. Okay. He's just well, kind on your shoulder, chilling. I'm going to do an extra perception check to see if I even notice that it's there. That works. Nope. A 
<laughs> nope. I don't know the hands there. Okay. Uh, so perception and Insight. what was the other one? Sorry. Uh, nope. Uh, so you don't nope. know where the goblin is, but you do see the serial uh, code. Uh, that was given to you guys where your equipment was going to be stashed away. Cool. Um, that's illegal, Brett, so... <laughs> I don't know who you're talking to. I'm just the storyteller. <laughs> you're literally looking up at the ceiling at this point. Okay, so... Um, that's illegal, and I'm a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a good dog, Brett, so... Um, okay, I'm going to come up quickly next to Eli and uh, be like, oh... Where do we go? Out of character, did I hear exactly where it came from? Yep, to the south. Eli, I'll simply toss a thumb to the south. Dash will nod like they're, you know, like they're being sneaky. <laughs> um, That's all I can, that's, God, I'm so useless. I'm so sorry. All I can do is sponge attacks. Um, that's it. That's uh, I'll follow Eli and not notice there's a hand on me. Could um use an action and to help you. Dash. You can use an action to dash if you'd like. Dash, you gotta oh, dash. I can dash. I'm dash. Da um, I, I, yeah. Okay. I love that. Dash, you can Five, dash. And fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. It says I can see him. If you the, see the, him, the, then you see him. You see this goblin look over at you. And he's like, oh shit. As, he's still, as you see, he's making a break for it currently. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Stop in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Step, bro. <laughs> oh, that's my, yeah, there we go. That's my turn. Uh, give me an intimidation check. <laughs> okay. You are free to use, by the way, I wanted to let you guys know that if at any time you'd like to use a, a proficiency, a skill check, and would like to use another ability score in lieu of the default ability score, as long as you can explain how you're doing that, typically I will allow it. So for example- Oh, if you like do, if you said do investigation and I thought that something else might work. Yeah, or if you do intimidation and you're just like, stop, and you like, push over like a, a ton crate just to really scare the shit out of them because of a feat of strength. Like things like that, you can do that, yeah. Okay. But you, you just have to explain like how you're doing that. Anyways, sure. the, the intimidation of 11. I'm anyway, gonna, it was an 11. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a bravery roll. <laughs> Fuck you, He's quite brave. <laughs> so he still continues running. <laughs> You're never gonna take me back! <laughs> As he continues just running forward. Well, I, I sure, I sure will. <laughs> you, Rapscallion. Okay, quick, quick, please. Eli, Eli, take your turn, I'm begging. <laughs> you got it, uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> I love it. He looks so pretty like, oh shit! <laughs> Eli huh. says, Eli says, stop. The goblin does it. <laughs> what do you do, Eli? I'm gonna yell out, look, you're outnumbered. Might as well give up now. I would like to um, do intimidation, but substitute int instead. Oh, so you're trying to like rationalize it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, I like That's that. Cool. Oh my God. Okay, so go ahead and do, uh, what's your intimidation skill normally? I would say just give me an intelligence. Do you have intimidation Yeah, skill? yeah, yeah. Oh, 20, 20 plus spicy. three. Spicy. Yeah, uh, so he, he stops. Size. I'm just gonna go ahead and check out his bravery if I roll a 20. Nope. So he, st he's like running. And he's just, so the, the 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 turn of events dash walks up. Hey man, stop! The goblin's like, "Fuck you, prot!" He's just trying to run, and then Eli's like, "You're outnumbered. Like, you know, we're all fucking coming for you." And uh, the goblin will then stop and just shakes as he raises his hands up, and that will end the encounter. 
Um, so, for some general broad strokes, is there anything that you guys would in particular be doing? Remember, there's a couple of key notes to be, to be aware of here. Um, no one's supposed to know that you're on this plane. Um, as you will then hear, once things calm down, is there anything you're doing with the, the, the goblin specifically? Or, like, just some above the board, above the board, like, broad strokes, like, what would you guys be doing? Uh, the first thing, yeah. Eli will ask uh, Dash, hey, you got this? Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, where is that bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, it's, uh, it's one of the side doors in that same hallway. I like to point back where they came from. Eli will uh, sort of pat Dash on the shoulder and just walk off that way. So, as you head off in the direction, I'll move you over um, to the bathrooms. Are you trying to get into the bathroom? Yes. The doors are locked. You then realize that the goblin uh, probably put everything into a fucking lockdown. We also changed course. Yes, that is correct. Eli is wordlessly going to walk back and uh, start heading towards the cockpit. Mm -hmm. See if he can figure things out. Okay. Are you uh, just kind of tracking what the goblin's been doing? Like where, maybe where, the, where the goblin is or like what are you? Um, As a side note, Eli, not Eli, sorry. Dash will use his tie to kind of do like a makeshift wrap on the goblin's uh, wrists. Okay. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So he ties, he sits there. Huh. Eli yeah, returns. Dash will be behind him like, oh, that was really quick. I normally take like at least 15 minutes, you know? It's locked. Oh. <laughs> oh. Say, so how did you get in there? Huh, he says. If you need to go to the bathroom so bad, just let me go. I'll unlock all the doors. <laughs> no, I'm good. But don't you want to? Don't you want to know about my master hacks? Hey, where are you going? I want to know about your master hacks. <laughs> it's very easy. <laughs> and then at that point, he just points over to what appears to be a small panel. I'm a master Whoa. hacker. <laughs> Oh, cool. Uh, what do you do? Uh, 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 I used to be a sound engineer. Uh, got hired on for a job. Pays quite a bit of credits. Can you, like, undo what you did then? What's, I in, mean, it since, what, like, what's in it for me? Well, I mean, you're not getting paid anymore, right? He looks around. He's tied. He's like, how about how about this? What if I remove all the hacks in the in the controls, so that way the pilots have control, and you let me go? No, we can't do that. Sorry. Well, I guess you're screwed then. <laughs> He'll uh, look at Eli. Do you know anything about this stuff? I will Sorry, sigh. not to, not to like generalize skills or anything. Uh, I just I don't know I don't know anything about this stuff. This is all new to me. Eli will say as he makes his way towards the panel. Uh, Dash will kind of like walk uh this way, but like push the goblin in front of him. If that makes sense. <laughs> Ow! Um, and sort you, of like you're hurting me. You're hurting me. Oh, sorry. And he'll just pick him up instead. <laughs> <laughs> Eli, was you will actually see um, over here on this is a uh, set of tools specifically used to hack uh, shard systems. It kind of looks like a small, a small room based panel with a shard screen and uh, various sort of like 
not keys, not like keys for a keyboard, but various like openings um, that you can take a the, the small pin that is uh, kind of attached to it to like press and uh, attach things in there. You will notice some some um, some uh, some shard strains, almost like a wire is attached to this. You figure that this is what he's been using to 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 break into the system. Can I suss out how he did it? Figure out how to reverse it. Funny enough, it looks it looks a lot of like using thieves tools on a panel to try and like break into it. So as once you kind of like figure out how things work, um, you could kind of like begin to like enter into the system itself to, to control what things need to be what what needs to be done and what needs to be controlled. Essentially, uh, you would be doing a uh, kind of like doing a thieves tools check. Um, in fact, it's exactly like using a thieves tools check. I would have you just use that for now. I'll give that a go. I would also, uh, are you able to take 10 or 20 in this? Uh, yeah, if you'd like to go, since you're, if you'd like to spend time to do that, you're able to do that. Yep, that's correct. Yeah, there's, I'll, no, there's no pressure at this point to get it done correctly, so. I will, uh, I'll take as much time as I have to make sure I get it right and try to get control back first. Okay, I will add on to your inventory a shard hack terminal. Oop. It should function as a tool. I hope I dragged that correctly. Yep, there it is. So let me, let me see if this actually works and if I did that correctly. Hey, there it is. Boom. This, that's exactly how it worked. You would uh, immediately gain a, a level of proficiency in it. And so now you have a shard hack terminal in your uh, inventory. Um, so after spending a bit of time, um, you're actually able to see um, a log that the, that, the gob that the goblin has desperately tried to hide of all the actions that he's taken. Um, specifically, uh, he's controlled the ship to go over into what appears to be one of like the stray shard, like one of the stray like chunks of land that's over um, by the core that it was going to be go to land. He was currently working on how to take full control of the ship itself so he could just pilot from there. Uh, he did not get to that point. Um, with the lockdown, he specifically, you can tell, was trying to lock down all of the uh, all all of the computers in the uh, the cabin where where the actual or in the uh, yeah in, in the cabin at the bridge where the pilots are actually trying to move the ship. He's not only locked out all the panels, but he accidentally locked all the doors on the ship as well, uh, making it incredibly difficult to do that. So he kind of went overboard with that. Um, are you so you're interested in undoing all that? Is that correct? Absolutely. All right. So after spending time in doing that, uh, you revert back to its original course. You unlock all the doors as well as unlock the controls over in the front, in the front area. And uh, yeah, you managed to undo all the work uh, that, that the goblin did. Do you keep the, the shard hacking terminal with your? Absolutely. All right. So you just pocket that. After some time, uh, you will hear over the intercom. Uh, this is your captain speaking. Uh, we have resumed control over at the shard, the shard ship. Um, we would request everyone remain in your seats until we figure out exactly what's going on and what happened here. Uh, ah, shit, I didn't have a name. I didn't have a name. Hold on. One second, please. I meant to do this and I didn't and I messed up. Whoopsies. Sorry. I knew I forgot something. Okay. Um, we will be, what is it, diverting course? Is that correct? Is that the correct term? Yep. Uh, we will be, we currently will be diverting course over to the Fulham Station. There, XDF authorities will be uh, questioning everyone on board the ship before we resume. Our, uh, our resume our passage. More than likely, we will have to return the ship back over to Zeros once we board it back at Fullen Station. We apologize for any inconvenience uh, this may cause. So, what the captain has pretty much told you at this point is that uh, the ship is no longer going to Southern Ishtar. Instead, it's going to be going over to um, the Fulham Station, where everyone is going to have to remain on the ship until the Zero's Defense Force arrives and questions everyone aboard. Just kind of figure out, like, what happened, why this happened, who's actually on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <clears throat> 
cool. Dash thinks that's a great idea. Because <laughs> he's got nothing to worry about. No, Logan. of course not. We're on an official <laughs> mission. Yep, so that's right. What's, what's the problem exactly? Uh, Logan, you hear that, that announcement, and uh, what do you do? We... This is a really weird question. Yeah. Do we, where is the actual cockpit of this ship? Uh, at the front of the ship. And the only way to get there is through the doors that are in the north? Uh, that is correct. And I, all right. Uh, being the detective I am, mm -hmm. I'm going to assume that I can't get through those doors since I, I just watch a man crawl out of a like a grate in order to get in here. And from that your is where he From was. your knowledge, that is a safe assumption. Great. Uh, Logan looks kind of like over his outfit again, still embarrassed having been slapped back into his seat and stands up and then comes over to, I assume the grate was, and uh, is just like, ooh, ooh, that's too far. <laughs> and uh, gives it a look and a mm. sigh and then kicks the thing open and sort of like wiggles down into it. Logan, remember yes. that there was always one other solution. I'm open. Crash the ship. Take it away. Why would I crash it? Why would I? You realize there are other people on this ship. Correct. People that might get in the way of what you want done. What I want done is maybe a coffee and some rest. We have another, oh God, 14 hours. Logan hops back in and just starts like crawling towards the front. Okay. All right, so where where are you trying to go exactly as you crawl? I'm trying to pop the back up on the other side, uh, where I assume uh, is the exit, and then make my way to the cockpit oh, so boy. I can find out how to actually control the ship or what, who is flying this thing if it's like now going a different way. All right. Um, so you actually feel the. By the way, you actually felt the ship returning course. Um, the. The captain has already announced that they are diverting path to uh, to Folden Station, uh, where they will await for XDF to arrive. So everyone right? Can, no, no, can I'm aware. Up. No, okay, I'm aware. Sure. Yep, yep, yeah, yep. no, I'm aware. We okay. they can't arrive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is what yep. I'm saying. Yep, yep. Okay, so are you? So you're just gonna keep going until you reach a grate, or exactly how? Are, what are you doing? Like, what are you trying to do? I'm going to um, make it past the door and uh, check and see what this next room is, because I honestly don't know. I've never been there. Okay. Um, so there's so you can't actually look up through the grates, which means you'll be doing a guessing game of things that you'll be doing. Um, so um, I'm just going to leave you over there for now. You would go ahead and climb north. As you climb north, uh, the the grate, the, like the tunnel, continues farther north or turns over to the east. What would you like to do? Um, uh, can I pop out the, oh, the, abso absolutely. And like, like some sort of gopher and give it a look. You can. I would like to attempt to do that. Uh, over, are you over to the, uh, output that's over to the east or are you just going to keep moving north where there's more tunnel? North, north. Okay. So you're going to keep moving north. Okay. So you're going to continue to move north. No great yet. Uh, there is a corner that turns over to the west. You would then go there. Another corner turns back to the north. You would go there. You see a grate that you can peek up on, um, but the tunnel also continues over to the north. I will peek up on that grate. Okie dokie. So peeking up over at that grate will take you over here, leading into some sort of hallway. All right, I have to, there you are. Do all of these doors, at least from uh, visual inspection, appear to be locked or closed? Um, as you they have go, that like occupied thing, you know, like on planes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's all there. It's all unoccupied. You actually see two unoccupied signs over uh, to the left and to the right. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna like pop out here and see what's up. Okay, so you pop out. 
what would you like to do? Uh, this door that is right there on the right, I will uh, give it. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Man. Walks back over to this one, and I'll do the <laughs> left door. <sighs> he like touches the his, the bridge of his nose as eyebrows. He's just rubbing his head like, okay. North it is, and he moves north, and I'll open that one. <gasps> Everyone like startles in the first class area as they look over to you. Oh, this, calm down. This man holds up his hands. He's like, please don't hurt us. I'm not going to hurt you. Is the cockpit ahead? What? And this man, oh my God, this man steps forward. Why do you need to go to the cockpit? Uh, <laughs> Logan looks at him. Is there any, uh, uh this is first class. Do they have any like <laughs> yeah. food or drinks on them? Uh, yeah, but there's various like uh, platters and stuff they've been snacking on over here. But yeah, this man yeah. clearly is holding out his hand about to place it on your chest. Like, uh, what do you need over there at the front, at the cockpit? Who are you? Uh, <laughs> Logan's like, there's been terrible trouble back in coach. I'm just making sure that Everything's okay up here in the front. It's been handled, of course, but you know how it is back there with the ruffians. <laughs> Go ahead and make a persuasion check. Oh boy, this will, I'm sure it'll work. Or a deception check. Is it obvious he's been slapped? Oh yeah, I mean, he's, he's got a bruised cheek. Yeah. <laughs> um... Hey. Wait. Looks over and he looks around and he, and he just kind of calms his demeanor again. He's like, I suppose. Uh, who did you say you were again? Oh, me? Um, Morgan Thorn. Okay. <laughs> and what is your purpose here, Mr. Thorn? My purpose is to, I don't know, get a drink, maybe get some rest. I don't want to be doing this. But at, at the cockpit, I don't. Had I don't think you should. Be. Once I can confirm, then I can go back to my seat. Look. Do you want do you want to go check the cockpit? Uh, you can come with me. It's fine. I'm I'm too tired for this. He sits back down looking outside whimsically. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, and he just keeps moving forward. <laughs> If this was another bathroom, I would have lost my damn mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go on. It's okay, all right. Sort of moves this way and then raps on the door, gives it a knock. Um, Hello? You'll, uh, you'll hear from the other side. This is this is a uh, unauthorized area for, for people. What do you, what do you, who are you? What do you want? And then she, you'll hear her voice go, the door's unlocked. And you'll hear boop, 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 and the door locks back up. What do you want? There's been a, there's been an incident in the, um, I forgot what that section of the plane is called. It doesn't matter. <laughs> there's been an incident in the rear of the plane. Uh, sir, we're aware there has been an incident, but I must request that you return back to your seat. Well, I believe your plan is to uh, land and wait for XDF officials to arrive, correct? That is what we have to do. That is correct. Well, good news. There's already one aboard this plane. You hear silence over there. A little bit of sweat before we hear. We have not been informed that there were XDF officials on the plane. Well, that's because it's a secret mission of the most highest caliber. Go ahead and give a persuasion check. Let's go, let's go. Please look don't roll like shit, Jesse. Look and 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 Oh, no. uh, you will hear a rather loud sigh on the other side and says, whether you're XDF or not, I have been given my instructions. I'm to go to the nearest station wait for XDF officials to arrive whether you're on some secret mission or you are someone trying to get away with something I, I'm afraid I can't take that risk uh, again sir I must I, I ask you to return back to your seat 
Well, that is a shame, because I was a liar. There are no XDF officials on this plane. And if you don't take us to our initial destination, yes. I will begin killing one member of first oh, class. Oh my yes. god, no. Yes. Oh, Every minute my you god. delay. For I am international thief, Morgan Thorne. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, oh my god. Roll Crime. An, roll an intimidation and advantage. <laughs> I gotta get one good roll. <laughs> That's Come on. That was really good. You've Timidation. already had. With it, you you had said to... with advantage? With advantage. You had to convince until you said more than Thorn. I'll do it again, right? One more roll? No, it's all, it, already it. it already did. It already oh, did. See the, the, the 2d20? Yeah. yeah, it chooses the highest one uh, that you rolled. So he go, so you hear the voiceover. What do you need? All I need is for you to take us to our original destination. Once we land, I will be gone and out of your way. My partners are dead. But I managed to delay the resistance. And so, <clears throat> if you would like to live, then I suggest you take us to our original destination. If you wish to go to your original destination, why did you hijack the ship? Now roll a deception check. Oh. She's poking holes in your story. Great. Is, uh, okay, and this is just a normal roll? This will be a normal deception check. <laughs> god oh my god. And then you will hear foot shuffle from behind the door as you hear as the doors lock from behind you. International thief or not, I don't think you'll be breaking out anytime soon. Once we arrive over at the station, the XDF forces will qu have questions for you. Morgan Throne or Thorn. I don't think you understand. <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're yes. trapped in here with me. Um, I would like to open, can I open this grate that's beneath me? <laughs> yes, you can. Great, that's what I'm doing. Great. Spending some tools, uh, you get over to the grate. Uh, once you uh, access underneath the floor, you will see that the tunnel that heads north in the cockpit has been blocked off. That's fine. How is it blocked off? Uh, it's another, it's another like actual like grate. Can I use uh, my delightful pocket knife slash thieving These tools? tools? Yes, you to... can. Yeah. Yes, you can. Lovely. All right. What does that fall under? Utility? Can check save skills? Uh, so what is this you... under? No, oh, I see. It. Tools. Literally tools. Yes. Just use the thieves' tools and then press that button. I give up. So you know as airlock me. Yeah. No, 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 no. So oh, as God. An, uh, God. how is this possible? Unfortunately, oh unfortunately, as you begin to pick at the grate, you actually hear a snap as the thieves' tools part of your Starian pocket knife breaks. Oh, My oh, thieves' tools oh, are just broken now. I have no more thieves' tools. Period. You will have to get them repaired. Critical misses suck. <laughs> Logan lays down in the the <laughs> vent and just waits to die. <laughs> he just like lays down and like can't even anymore. I will oh I will God. let you know. You End can, of my turn. You will Done. yeah, you will still be able to go south back to the other vents. No, um, it's fine. He lays down. All right. So as you lay down sobbing, <laughs> not sobbing, I'm kidding. Um, as you lay down, uh, is anyone else trying anything? I'd like to go up to Caress. <laughs> okay. By the way, is we all we are at time, just FYI. So I, I 
didn't want to take any more of your time uh, because we are at, uh, at capacity, I'm afraid. So what would you like to do? Nothing I will do will help progress the story currently. I just want to fuck around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so if somebody wants to do anything first, let me know. If anyone else has any ideas, otherwise the story will advance. Uh, all Karis has been doing is comforting people around the cabin, so... What a not... good cop! She, I offer Karez some ibuprofen from my bag. Um... <laughs> It, is it actually Here. labeled or is it just literally a pill? It's, I, it's ibuprofen. It says ibuprofen on it. <laughs> Ka- are all the doors all... locked? No, they're not. All the doors are actually open as you go in. You actually see the doors go. They're just going to step through. I wouldn't have seen the Jesse conversation, but I think he's going to be searching for him. Yeah. Uh, I think you'd go all the way up to. To, to the cockpit looking for him. Yeah, absolutely. Feel free to open the door and, and move around as you see fit. Oh, God, sorry. Okay, it's okay. I was going yeah. fast. Yeah, so as you move over, everyone kind of nods at you. Um, once you arrive there, that door appears to be locked. Hmm. And uh, I can tell we haven't changed course. Oh, you have changed course. Um... So you so what happened was the course changed and then the course changed again and that's when they announced that you guys are going to be going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the not not station. since that is correct. Since. That is correct. Um, you will see him, this man over here, and goes. Uh, someone else already went through to talk to the the captain. And you know what happened? He shrugs, looks outside, whimsfully again. Do you know if they're scrying on us at all. S- scrying? What, what do you mean? Oh, what do you call it? Are they able to watch us here? Um, what do you mean? Like, sur- surveillance? I don't what think so. What is that? So. I don't think so. Uh, oh, uh, watching. There are no mm. cameras here, if that's what you're curious about. I don't know what that is. He's just gonna go and... Oh, there's no surveillance. Okay. No, I think he's just going to sit down. Okay. So. <laughs> the man, oh, my God. So you go to sit down. Uh, everyone has done everything they can. All right. Then the story shall advance. At this point, the shard ship will arrive. Uh, over at Farron Station, uh, your course has Wait. been. Oh yes, go on. How how close is the station? Um, it would literally be. Oh, sorry, close. Uh, it would be the the uh, closest station, so it's gonna be within an hour's time. Okay. You don't you, you don't know how close the station is. All you know is that all they say is we're gonna be going over to Farron Station. There's various stations, um, between the arcs for specifically for longer travel for refueling until things like that. So. I mean, we could change the destination again with the thieves tools, but Logan would have to be back here and be like panicking for us to know that. But if he's crying yeah. in the vent, I don't think yeah. any of us would have suggested that. <laughs> yeah, he's too busy listening to uh, Hello Darkness, my old friend. <laughs> but yeah, so, like we could change the direction again, though, just with the thieves tools or the tacking tools. Um, Eli, is there anything else you're doing? Otherwise, I will be advancing the story. No, I have no reason to do anything else. All right, so you guys will arrive over in, in the uh, over at Fallen Station as the ship slowly begins to descend and land. Logan, are you still within the vents? Logan. Oh, he said BRB. Oh, he said BRB. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, mm, probably still down there crying. Crying. He's probably crying in for real life. Uh, then we are at time. So I, I, since Jesse stepped away, I will kind of give a broad strokes of what would, would happen at this point. Um, you okay. guys, you guys would arrive over at Fallen Station. Um, if Logan were still in the Benson, considering the fact that you all have access um to the to the actual storage area slash 
uh, sir, like the makeshift engine room over here. Um, if you all wish to be stealthy, which again, only uh, Logan would have the influence of this at this point, um, you have the ability to sneak off the ship. But if you're looking for the, if you're waiting for the XDF, unfortunately, I need a, I need a, a, a Jesse's input. So, I, hmm, I'm trying to figure out what the best way to do this is because it's gonna just, stall for him. It's fine. He's probably not gonna be more than like what five minutes. Well, it's been five minutes, and we're also past time. I don't want to keep anyone waiting ah. longer than they, they actually have to be. So, we may I'm, have... I'm okay with waiting a couple more minutes. Everybody else is. I'm Fair. good with it. I'm good. Yeah, yeah I can probably give it another minute. I don't need. Um, yeah, because I need to, I, cause I need to know Logan's, uh, what Logan wants to do. Because otherwise, I know the cops could be like, all right, we'll just wait for the XDF to come over. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say Dash wait. would be like, great. Yeah. I hope the XDF comes so I can give them this fucking goblin. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And that, that's, yeah, that, that's, that's primarily it. So, um, Logan kind of has to have the, the influence if he wishes to continue the case. Otherwise, otherwise you guys what would now? stop. What? There you are. Okay, so. Sorry. No, it's all good. Um, you guys would arrive in Fallen Station if you're waiting over. You're just going to stay in the vent. Is that correct? Yeah, what else am I going to do? Okay, so once, you, once you're in the vent, just kind of like been waiting there. Um, I was, do you just explore at all or do you just wait in the vent? You got, you're free to go back to your seat. Like if you No, say, I, this man is broken. I've right. never in my life, even Jesse Cox is broken. I've never rolled so many critical fails in my life. Okay. So, um, as you begin to land over in Fallen Station, uh, you will notice that there are several great openings where you are at, um, where you believe you would be able to leave the ship while it remains in lockdown. In other words, sneak out, out of the ship. Uh, but, would that mean leaving everyone else behind? Well, you would have to get everyone because right now uh, everyone is just idly waiting because you are the team lead. And they are, and they are going to uh, wait, wait for the XDF. Well, I don't know what the I don't know what the cons are doing. So what would Logan do? We think this is like a totally above board thing. So yeah, they, yeah, because they, right now you've got uh, both cops who are like, this is an official secret mission. So they're waiting for the XDF. So Logan, what do you do? Uh, I mean, if we're at the end, if we're beyond time, I'd like time to think about this. Because honestly, I don't have an answer for you right now, and I, I would not want to force it. Okay. Because uh, personally, I feel like uh, I screwed the pooch so much that I'm trapped as a character. Mm -hmm. And so I'd like to take time as Jesse to think about what to do. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, I don't I don't have an answer for you at all. Okay. Um, above board, there are options to, to, to essentially sneak off the ship over at Fallen Station which means you'd have to figure out a way to get off full in station. But if there's something else that you'd like to do and think about, because at this point, yeah, you've been trying to break in, you can't break in. And because you've tried to persuade, yes, at this point in time, you would have to, if you'd like to think about like what you can do, you can go ahead and do that. Um, so next session, since I technically don't know what you guys are going to be doing, uh, more than likely, the, uh, um, unless you have an answer for me between sessions. Next session, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll give you an answer of what my. I'm not gonna be like. I'm not gonna fucking tell you. Like, I just need to know, because I, I, basically, mm -hmm. I have in the span of like several fails, mm -hmm. um, basically, given this person a name, mm -hmm. given this person. <laughs> The fact that the name is an established criminal mm -hmm. put myself in a corner where now I have a name that exists out there as an established criminal. And then if I switch to my real name, then I am now alerting the XDF it's that is there it that is a, now it is Logan Horn is. Yep. It is very sticky. And I'd rather not uh, just think up something okay. on the spot right now. Okay. Um, are, are besides, besides, you know, feeling disappointed in your roles, are, are you 
Are you are you good? Are you having are you, are you uh, having fun at least? Enjoying you know this 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 cliffhanger ending essentially? Sure. I just don't want to like rush it. Rush like, it. I, I now. literally have a blank brain. Okay. Like I wish I wish I could tell you a good thing that didn't involve like we shall and then we fucking kill everyone because yeah, that's yeah. not my character. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Go ahead. And, go ahead and think it through, and then we will just leave it at that cliffhanger. Then so that wraps up today's episode. As a def- as if hopefully not to beat it beat beat you down, but as a defeated Logan, you know, clearly distracted by this, you know, distra- like like with facade, you know, on the mind essentially, is making you feel Logan. At the- I feel like Logan's like making some mistakes at this point, and you just it's kind of like that moment where Logan's just like, I have to fucking, you know what I mean? I have to, I have to think, I have to think of a solution, and we'll figure out what that solution is. Next time. Time for Deus Ex Machina. There's no Deus Ex Machina in D&D. If, 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 if a fuck up happens and they all get arrested, that's that's it. That's the end of the story. I never want to just be like, and then something magically happens that works for everyone. So yeah, we aren't doing no Deus Ex Machina chat. It is, it is what it is. So, all right. If that's the case, we will wrap up today's session of Deadbeats with Logan in the vault right now. Just sort of, ah, damn. You know what I mean? Um, and we'll figure out what it is. And then we'll see next week what Logan decides as you guys are, are moving over. God. All right. So we went over time, and I'm almost certain there is a bajillion things of fan art. How do we... Oh, boy. How do we want to do fan art? Is bless. I, I looked through it because I knew I'd have to shoot off because uh, i got to go play that, that that thing that dropped today. You know, yeah, you know. Uh, I got you. I got you. Um, but, uh, I looked through them all. They're amazing. Um, oh god, do you guys want to all do fan art like at the beginning of next week and then we could do like a big fan art special? Because I we are so we are so over time, I don't want to, I don't want to slow, I don't, I don't want to keep people longer than they have to. Fine, Just, either way, I can stay later or we can do it beginning of next session. I don't care. Let's, let's do, let's, yeah, chat, let's go ahead and do beginning of next session because we are over time, anyways. So, um, but uh. But yeah, so that will wrap up today's session and, and thank you guys so much for playing. Did you, everyone enjoy themselves today? Yeah, it's great fun, thank you. I've uh, got some good news for everybody though. Uh, you all level up to level two. Oh, God. Nice. Getting through such a uh, daring encounter. You are all now the second level. Awesome. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. Uh, I'm going to say goodbye to chat. Thank you guys so much again for everything. And uh, yeah, we'll, Thank we'll, you be, guys. we'll be back next Thursday with the exciting cliffhanger conclusion to Deadbeats. I'll see, see you then. All, I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Take care. Oh, man. All right. What would you guys think? Good session tonight? Good session. Uh, yeah, we're going to do fan art next week. We are over time. I apologize. I don't want to belittle fan art because I love God. I love the fan art. I love the fan art. I love the fan art. Just just seeing everything you've done. I appreciate everything you do. And I encourage you to keep getting that fan art. So we're there. So thank you guys again. Uh, feel free to join our Discord over there um, to join the community and check out the fan art for yourself. So you guys get a little nice little sneak peek before we show it off to everyone next week. We'll probably begin next week with some fan art. I think is the best way to go about it. We'll do fan art. We'll begin, we'll, we'll begin some fan art. We'll go into the game, and then we'll continue at that point. So that'll be good. Um, and then uh, if you'd like to do the extra mile and support us further, we've got a Patreon, patreon.com slash World of IO. Head on over uh, to patreon.com slash World of IO. Um, you get MP3s of the campaigns, uh, early access to art and music, uh, regional maps uh, that have been done. You guys get full access to that, early access to that, um, including Game Master notes. I'll add some notes over for the encounter that's in today at some point this week. And uh, yeah, at that we'll, we'll continue there. Uh, go ahead and watch all of this on YouTube, youtube.com slash world of Aya. Um, this episode will be up probably in the next couple of days, so you can go ahead and uh, check it out at that point. And that's it. I'm just going to go ahead and leave you guys. Go wherever you wish. Uh, it looks like Joe might be checking out some Elden Ring tonight. So go uh, go head on. Go head on over there. In fact, I think I'm just going to do an empty raid over to Joe's stream. So head on over there. I believe he's going to be playing some Elden Ring tonight. And uh, that 
as they say, is that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate y'all very much. I'll see you all next time. Enjoy some Elden Ring with Joe. Have a good day. Bye-bye!